will be judged. Seek out the heretics. So, hunt them out. Onwards. I trust no man. By the silver hammer. Heretics! Show me the accused. The nation calls. You are judged. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. Report. They will be judged. What have you to say? <laughs> All these block actions. Tools of judgment ready. My order agrees. Seek out the heretics. I trust no man. Show me the accused. Alright, looks like uh, Clan Wars is pretty much blocked entirely. Apart from this army over here didn't block it. So I was thinking about what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're probably going to at least see the Chaos Invasion. So that'll happen in about 11 turns, roughly. Um, and I realized what I should probably do is actually send Balthazar Gelt back. Not not his army, but just Balthazar Gelt. So kick Gelt out. Did he eat by any chance of a defeat, Vlad? No, I don't think he did. Because all you could do is just get him wounded. It'd be quicker. Yeah, I think his wound time is still five turns. Doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, send him over here to command this. Didn't the Chaos Invasion already happen? The first Chaos Invasion did, but there's another one. So, what we can do here as well, since all of the difficult stuff, I think, has been done out here for the time being, um, we'll tag him out for an Arch Lector, and that way we'll also get better replenishment that way. Uh, Regal will do it. Rank 17, coming in. So, if we go with the Work of God, get 20% replenishment. Yo. Yo. No. Need lightning strike. Reducing upkeep cost would be good as well. Okay. That should uh, keep us going for the time being, and uh, yeah, we'll get guilt over there. Master Blaster 69 became a member for 12 months. Hey Legend, I started a Marcus campaign and did the migration, except random attacks, and it's actually really fun. And it, Sorry, and except for the random attacks, it's actually really fun. Thanks for the advice. Good luck. Alright, no worries, dude. That it was uh, useful advice. Thanks for the membership. Appreciate you. Alright, yeah, all of the spells are done. There's no sense giving them any more. That. Yep, well, that's done. Seek out the heretics. Blessings of Sigma upon you. So this guy is going to occupy a plane of spiders, and then he's done. Because yeah, it'd be quicker to recruit a new lord from here to send it to Plane of Dogs. Uh, is not covering new content hurting your channel growth? Not sure how you reasonably expect 500k subs by Tuesday. <laughs> okay, I think you're in your own little world there, for one thing. Um, I'm not expecting 500k subs by Tuesday. Who Whoever said that's going to happen? That, that's delusional to think that that's even possible. Um, is not covering the new content hurting the channel? Um, uh, look. You gotta keep some things in mind. Um, do you know what hurts the channel growth the most? Whenever I'm really fucking angry. Right? And, unfortunately, just dealing 
with that stuff doesn't make me happy right now. So it's what's best for the channel growth is that I focus on what I enjoy and I don't want to be a Total War news channel. Okay, that's what's best for growth. Okay, now if in an ideal world, you know, I was like super excited about stuff that was coming, then yeah, it'd be good for channel growth. But I, I don't want to cover it. Praise be to Sigma. Uh, you could recruit an army with another lord and then replace him with houses like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start recruiting the army in a moment. We just need to make sure money's gonna be okay. Yeah, the most important thing to do is to do what we enjoy. Okay, not to be a bloody news channel just because a couple of people ask for it. Okay. I don't want to be a Total War News channel. I don't want to be Creative Assembly's feed to the community. That's their job. Yeah. I'm not interested in doing that for them. Uh, Broken Tool became a member for 14 months. Hey, Legend. Love the content all the way. Don't know why it says member for one month. Have been subscribed for almost a year. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. It'll say that when you're becoming a member, but then when it comes up in the chat, it'll actually tell you how long you've been a member for. But I appreciate you. 14 months. Thanks, dude. Um, Seal Team Sesh did a $10 subscription. Hey, Legend, I've been trying to get a Katep campaign going, but it's super awkward and slow. Your starting province is all ruins, and it takes ages to get rolling. Any tips to speed things up a bit? No, that it's, it is just a slow campaign, really. I, I've only played, like, one campaign I of Katep no e man. ever. Someone it's really not my favorite campaign. So, I don't really have any tips for you, sorry. Cool. Yeah, thanks super for the um, super chat. Raise your weapons. Do you ever think of making an FAQ for all the repetitive questions that get asked? Yeah, I think about it, but then I also know that I'll make the FAQ and people will still won't read it because they're lazy. It's just sort of how it is. I trust no man. Uh, getting repetitive questions is just part of being a big streamer that answers questions. It's just, it's just part of it. I, I actually don't mind. I know it seems like I get super cranky at them, but... Uh, it really doesn't bother me that much. Your accounts have fallen off quite a bit. What are you talking about, dude? We've actually recovered quite a lot. We've only started streaming again eight minutes ago. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Legend, how come you don't have 4,000 viewers immediately? <laughs> God damn it. Instrument of Sigmar's will. What I've found is that people see what they want to see. If people want my channel to decline, that's what they'll see, right? We've actually recovered quite a bit over the past month without any Warhammer 3 content, apart from that one video. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of everything else, every, all the other numbers are looking much better. What's with the crazy comments right off the bat? You just get that every now and again. It's okay. It's, it happens. Um, Inquisitor Chase became a member for seven months. Do you ever think about making FAQ for the questions people ask you over and over again? JK loves the content, dude. Keep it up. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Confirmation bias? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. What? People see what they want to see. You know? Like the the truth of the chat, the in terms of the channel is that yeah we took a hit with Warhammer three, but we've we've actually recovered quite a bit. We're not quite back to where we were before Warhammer three came out, but it's like it's pretty close. 
pretty close. Given the situation, um, you know, we recovered a fair bit. Maybe Immortal Empires will go further. We'll, we'll see. You know? Anyone's like, Oh, Legend of Total Wars channel dead. No, you're absolutely wrong. Uh, Rex Teresio did a MYR15 super chat. Is the Stormfiend Doomstack still viable for Thankwell if he's confederate, or is he default to Weapons Team Doomstack? <laughs> okay. Thanks for the super chat, dude. That's obviously a joke one. So this guy here, once again... His job is just to make sure that no Skaven come down this way. That's it. I. I... Insults to haunt rat, rat. I might be able to get to Darkhold. I keep blocking these armies. Like, that army there is nothing. Will not, cannot. None of these armies are particularly dangerous. What's the Skaven corruption here? It's pretty much gone. Okay. And they don't want to come back this way because of, um, Kalida. Of the weak. It's a bit of a risk. It is a bit of a risk. But, you know, we've got some in the elect accounts if we need an emergency army. Of judgment ready. No sense in the dwarfs getting all the fun. Okay, so that's all of our movements made. Yeah, I think we can justify starting to build this army. Has the... Oh, we didn't finish with this yet. Oh, hang on, no, it did give us local recruitment, just not the global. That's fine. Okay, so we start recruiting the army here. With the life wizards on its way. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, it'll arrive about the time that the uh, army's finished. Alright, and then we need a relatively cheap recruiter, so uh, just get like a general of the Empire, I guess. Which Lord provides better recruit capacity, capabilities? I don't think it makes any difference. I will the men. So yeah, just recruit. Is there anything? Headhunter would be good, local recruit capacity, local province. Anything else? Doesn't need an Imperial Griffin, he's just a placeholder. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, so. Okay, okay, and it should take two turns. Yeah, two turns per steam tank. Is there any followers that can give us, like, extra, like, experience? Just having a look what's available. Because, yeah, extra experience will mean higher fire rate. I don't think we've got anything here. Just checking. Yeah, they're not classified as infantry, so that's not going to work. Okay, that's fine. Uh, did I switch the edict? Did I did not... Uh, all right, we'll see if we even need to switch it. Okay. Ready. So we'll start with the... Yep. And... That's all. We only need 19. Because the Life Wizard comes in. So in four turns, it's done. That means it'll be turn 134. Which is plenty of time. It can't come before then. How is the subscriber recruitment campaign going? Okay, so that post 
generated nearly a thousand subscribers. So, at this rate, it looks like we'll reach it. Rip Joe Rogan. Okay. Um, if they ever actually add Thancor, what do you think his faction and Lord effects would be? Construction time plus 10 for local province. Um, it, he'll probably have some sort of unique mechanic. Something to do with that. Something that we haven't seen before. Something to do with the Council of Thirteen. That's, I think that makes a lot of sense. Some kind of, like, um, missions from the Council of Thirteen. I don't know. Alright, so, yeah, we don't need any more troops away. I didn't need to even recruit in global. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, my lord. Now, another thing as well is that it might be good to... Um, if we can, get some... Praise Sigma. Empire Captains. We get, get them at really high rank. The sole purpose of which is to just assault units. We only need three. The Empire! Who calls to the provinces? But yeah, their entire job is the just to calls. go over to Archeon Sigvold and... Kolek and just assault their units. One each. Now, we're not going to have a 100% success chance with them. Sir? But one of them is bound to succeed because they'll only be at rank 1, effectively. So, it'll be... Hang on, is there anything for extra agent success chance? Let me just have a look here. There's ambush success chance, that doesn't matter. Assassinate, no. That's not what we're going to be doing. Don't worry about shit, we've researched everything. No, there's nothing. Okay. So yeah, their job is to come over here. Show me the accused. Onwards! Seek out the heretics. Moving up! Seek out the heretics. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you use this landmark here to determine basically where Archeon's gonna show up. He shows up, basically pops out right in front of it. So where we want to be standing is right here in Raid Stance. That's where we want to be standing. Okay, it should be like Archeon, Sigvold, um, Kolek. What's the first recruiting slot and local? Um, it's all steam tanks. What? All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right. We got some construction to do. Um, is there? Okay, we've got this here sorted. Oh, right, we can. Hang on, what's this? Yeah, come over here. True servant. The Bastone War worked out pretty well. How are we going here? I trust no man. All right, I can keep blocking all of these armies, but a part of me actually wants to see if they'll take Karak Bufta. Because I just kept blocking them. Um, Taylor Banks did a five dollar super chat saying good luck. All right, thanks, do appreciate the super chat. Why raid stance? No attrition in. Okay, if you walk, if you just walk into this area here, you just. You'll take ridiculous amounts of attrition while walking in here. You need to move in here while ra in raid stance. It makes you immune to the attrition. Yeah, if you don't do that, yeah, you'll fucking die before you touch them. Alright, there's a disciplined life wizard there, which is not what we want, so I'm going to recruit and disband that. Because we're still working on the Beast Wizard Doomstack. Oh, I could have left that guy there. It doesn't matter. The Amber Order. So yeah. That's all coming along. Yeah. Play by, so going for me. Well, if they do, they will only at maximum be able to get up to here. And I can raise an army really quickly. Plus... For war. Plus I can block this off with heroes if I absolutely need to. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's not going to work against them because they, they will be judged. jump in the underway. Um... An impossible path. Yeah, I'm going to let them take out Karak Buftar. I'm going to let them do it. Yeah. Ill considered. Yeah, we'll see how things play out. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass too much. You guys get up over here. Show me the accused. They will be judged. Yeah, that's a bit risky what I'm doing there, but I uh, yeah, just want to see what happens. Tools of judgment ready. So the Skaven have been reduced down to one settlement. Okay. All right, a little bit of construction left to go. Have you ever thought living elsewhere? Uh, no. Well, I used to, but I don't want to anymore. I'm, I've got my roots set up here, so this is where I'm going to stay. Yeah, let's upgrade Dragon Fang mounts because the um, the Sea Dragon's teeth, Great Landing, is really good. Hmm. Bring me to my men. No. Right now, this Who's one here to needs to go and have a little look down this way because this is where the rest of the cult of pleasure is. I'm sure, public order will be fine. Sister chaos corruption is a problem. Sir. Seek out the heretics. Is that where heretics lurk? Show me the accused. They will be judged. You make fools of both of us. I accuse. By the comet. Okay. And out this way, have we done everything that we need to do? I trust no man. Always got to make sure we double check, because one little slip up, <laughs> fucking game over. All right, everything seems fine. We also need to start preparing for betraying a order tide member, so we have to look at the most isolated one. If we have a look here, some call me a king. Probably, um, Carrot Kedrin could be a good one. Now, in order to do that, we have to get out of this war with Clan Moors. Will you join me? Men of the Empire, in finding death in glorious battle. And then when we attack them, we need to make sure that all of our armies... Hang on, we need to take out Karak Kedrin straight away. And that one. So one, two... How many settlements does he have? Four. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, let's, let's do a little bit more before we worry about that. Alright, I'll save up the last of that money. Uh, Castle Bastone doesn't need this. Yep. Public order will be fine. How do you avoid burnout, I wonder? Uh, the easiest way to avoid burnout is just focus on what you enjoy and don't bend to peer pressure. That's probably the best way to do about it. But burnout is inevitable. Um, everybody suffers from it. But yeah, the best thing to do is just, just try to focus on what you enjoy. That's probably the best thing to do. Which is what we've been trying to do for the past few months. And I think it's been working. I don't feel particularly burnt out. You know, playing Wormer too. Alright. Let's see how this end turn goes.
We really need to keep an eye on everything. I don't want to be going at super fast speed. I reckon the last enemy that we'll fight is the High Elves. I reckon that'll be the last of it, because... Yeah, I think we'll see. Now, there's also going to be another problem. When Archeon is defeated, all of the Autotide factions go from being reliable to unreliable, so they can betray you at a moment's notice. You've got to be really careful once that happens. Apart from Max Shadows, are you playing at Max Graphics? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh god, even with the block, he still moved a fair bit. What's Gavin Legendary Lord? Are you waiting to be in Immortal Empires? Probably just Thankwell. Thankwell's the last major one, I think, to be introduced. Then there's just a bunch of minus Gaven. Friends of the Empire, come. What happened to the moderator burnout? Um, I think just real life happened and he... He got burnt out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, burnout was, was great because he would answer so many questions that were repetitive. Yeah, he, was, he was a great moderator. But it, it happens. People come and go. That's just part of being on YouTube. Yeah, Hubby's doing well, whatever he's doing. I do have shadows down, I think they cut my performance. Yeah, I always put shadows on like low, because shadows eat up a lot of performance, and if you put it on low, unless you're like really zooming in to have a look, you'll barely even notice. But yeah, most of the time, see, the shadows are not sharp at all. It's a really easy way to get a lot of frame rate if you um just um, drop the shadows down. We're able to take out as a toilet with relative ease. Yep, more or less. Pretty much just auto resolved every single fight with the sisters. They showed up a few times. They just couldn't handle my steam tank doomstack. So yeah, I kind of screwed over um, Karak here and there. We got to keep in mind that the Wood Elves can only now, well, Talson can only recruit basic units. Cool. And every time they fight, they will just keep getting weaker and weaker for the most part. So they did exactly what I wanted them to do there. Will you have early access on new patch in Wormer 3? Look, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Any factions left that might pose a problem to you? Any faction could pose a problem to me. In terms of just getting a sneaky defeat in. Um, you know, all of a sudden, a defensive alliance might declare war on us and just take an undefended settlement. Boom, that's the end of it. So, we need to be paranoid to the extreme. If we just look back a couple of turns ago, Bastone, who I had good relations with, declared war on Corone, and it was just a complete fucking emergency straight away, but we handled it. You know, luckily I had walls in that area. Now, that could happen fucking anywhere, right? Karakir might declare war on Karaza Karak. Um... You know, we're at war with uh, Ogwalon now as well. We were we had treaties with them. Uh, but luckily they're quite passive. Hey, listen, did you see that the four new Chaos Lords won't compete in the race for Ursa? And do you think that the DLC team dumping the Realm of Chaos in the first DLC is a good sign? Um, 
Yes, I did see that they are not going to participate for the race. That doesn't surprise me at all, because Creative Assembly want to actually sell this DLC. <laughs> and anybody, anybody who, who like, has any business sense would have been like, okay, let's turn off the Realms of Chaos for this particular campaign. So, that's good. That's good. That, me that means that the the uh, uh, the Champions of Chaos DLC might actually be worth playing on the Realm of Chaos. Um, that is one step in the right direction to actually making that campaign at least having some factions worth playing. But... By the comet. Yeah. They've, they've still got to address the Realms of Chaos. You know, they can't just leave it abandoned. Step to it. Alright, nothing bad happened over that intern. That's good. Sigma grant me strength. Champion of the faith. Your word is my command. Okay. The Do you think Nippon will have a chance for IE? Uh, a very low chance, but I would, uh, I'd say it's possible. With enough demand for it, um, I think it's possible. You know, they can extend the map out. It is possible. Alright, we don't need any of this army anymore. So this will save us a lot of cash. calls orders all right Volkmar will capture ice rock gorge but he's not going to go and ruin to all that other settlement Sigma all right that is essentially nagaroth area the, the continent of nagaroth under control at at very least not not necessarily fully conquered but it's under control because there's still some bretonia out that that way Ready. yeah just go um Go get someone to sort that out next turn. Volkmar the Grim. Seek out the heretics. By the comet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Champion of the faith. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to get a um new Defender of the Faith. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I get it from here? Praise be to Sigma. I can't recruit this quickly enough. You'll do. Let us forge our faith. Uh, Chrono Sticks uh, did a hundred NOK super chat. What is sorry? What's the one legendary lord or faction you want to add to the game that's got a, the least chance to actually make it in? Any ideas what the unique thing could be? Um, I don't have an answer for that because I, I honestly don't care about what does or does not get put into it. You also got to keep in mind that I never really played the tabletop, so I don't I don't have like any serious attachment to really niche things. So I, I just don't have an answer to that question. But thanks for super chat. All right, admiral, admiral, admiral. Loads of admirals out this way. Man. Lord of Admirals. What? What orders? We can sail from Arnheim Sigma to the Moonshard. This would eliminate the Sisters of Twilight completely. But yeah, there are a lot of admirals out this way. Giving me a bit of concern. And we don't want this army sitting around doing nothing for long periods of time. There's also this over here. Can go and grab that, and I, I might be able to make it back to Arnheim. Thing is, if we grab that, that'll pay for the army for one turn. This is why I say sometimes it's not worth grabbing them. Depends on the situation. Or it's not worth going out of your way to grab it. Um, see, if I go charge in over here, they're just going to run away. No. 
Mm. If I go there, I won't be able to go over here. That would eliminate Sisters of Twilight. And... What? What is it? Yeah, there's still got a lot of strength ranking. How many settlements do they have? Cut you down. Five, not much. How many armies do I have? Eight, okay. I'll come back to that in a moment. Protector of the weak. The Empire! Religion, what about fish people? I'm totally fine with fish people to come in. I don't, I don't get to make these decisions, but... You know, whatever, whatever Warhammer race Creative Assembly wants to add into the game, I'm more than happy to support it. I'm all for more races. You know, out of... I said this ages ago. All I wanted out of Warhammer 3 was some new races to play. And I got that. And some stuff I didn't want. <laughs> um, but as, you know, all six, well, even seven... Of the new races, I really like in Warhammer 3. I got, I like playing all of them. It's all, it's all the other garbage that I got a problem with. All right, let's get rid of um, the black lines. We don't need that anymore. Cast evil out. The treasures are mine. You know, I'd get rid of all of them. For the Emperor. Yeah. Haste. And now we've got a sack city to train up these um, beast wizards. I go where I am needed. Cool. Forward in his name. All right, what do we get this turn? Perceptive. Discipline didn't even show up. Okay. The Amber Order. What brings you here? My journey begins. I know there's a knowledgeable one, a uh, knowledgeable death wizard, but I'm not overly concerned about spamming that. Wouldn't mind some more knowledgeable fire wizards, actually. We, we've got the money for it, so I guess it's fine. So get rid of this one. Having a bit of extra winds of magic could help us out against uh, Archeon as well. See if a uh, knowledgeable fire wizard will show up. Why for beast wizards? It's a Empire Doom stack. It's not about beast magic, it's actually about griffins. They're the only ones that get a, a mount apart from Imperial Pegasus. Griffins are really good fighters, and uh, it's like, imagine a griffin. Imagine having a full stack of griffins, that's what it is. What happened to Gelt? Okay, so Gelt was commanding this army here. I tagged him out, because he's about to go and fight Archeon. Rather than travel Gelt all the way back over here, Gelt will arrive here in four turns to take over this army and fight Archeon. We're gonna teach Archeon the value of welcome to Astalia. <laughs> so yeah. Might have to wait until Volkmar gets down here. Yeah. She got a lot of black arcs. Because, yeah, if I attack that, she's just going to run away. I can't go into ambush stance here. I'll just take attrition. Won't be worth it. Man, i got to wait for more of these guys to show up. We've just got uh, other things to do. I guess I could just get this money. If we're not going to use it, might as well get some money. Doesn't look like I'll actually make it back. Yeah, I'm not making it back. Servant of the faith. Whoops. Alright, given all of these admirals in this area here, they can only use four at a time, and even if they caught us in Force March, it should be fine. Uh, actually, I might be able to land anyway, if I do this. Um, it's fine. Uh, even if we get attacked over the end turn, it'll be fine. They can't do anything to us. And I know that these Sister Twilight, they've got nothing. 
Um, Abdomen 100 did a five dollar super chat. Thoughts on the Chaos rework coming plus Azazel. Sorry if you were asked this a ton yesterday, but I didn't have time to watch the VOD. Um, I'm getting asked it a lot. I don't have any opinions until I played it, so I, I will let you know my opinions later down the track. I, I just don't, I just don't have any opinion of it yet. Like, seems fine. You know, really hard to gauge how good something is going to be based on, you know, um, a heavily curated um, blog post. So, generally speaking, it's probably not wise to get hyped or um, too angry, I suppose, about anything that's going to be in a blog post. So, I'll just wait, basically. Just be patient. Now, I will stop them. You know, we'll get access to it eventually, and uh, when we do, I'll let you speak. know what I think. Tools of judgment ready. Report. But, one thing that... Um, did come to mind, and this will actually be an interesting question for you guys. Alright, if the four champions of Chaos are supposed to all be Warriors of Chaos, so four new Warriors of Chaos Lords, and each of the other legendary Lords from Warriors of Chaos will get their own faction, and Bellacore is going to be joining the Warriors of Chaos, that means that there will be eight legendary Lords for the Warriors of Chaos, making them the biggest faction in terms of um, legendary lords in the game, previous one being Lizardmen. Now, if that's the case, one big question is Confederation. Do you guys think Warriors of Chaos should or should not confederate? I'm just curious. What do you guys think? So, like, if there's eight legendary lords, but... Let's just say, let's just say hypothetically you're playing as Archeon, and you can confederate all of them. Is that good or bad? Or hypothetically you're playing as Archeon, and you can't confederate any of them. You know, what do you think? Because that's definitely something I'm curious about. Because there's going to be a lot of legendary lords. Seems fairly mixed. A lot of a lot of shoulds and should nots. Yeah, I'm of the opinion the confederations more confederations better. Yeah, just curious. I'm interested. I'm interested to see how um, Creative Assembly is going to tackle that because previously there was only one Warriors of Chaos faction. You just had to recruit the legendary lords based on conditions, but now you'll have, if you want to get them, you'll either have to confederate them, or you won't be able to confederate them. Because we really don't know, because previously, Warriors of Chaos have never been able to confederate, because there's never been a Warriors of Chaos faction apart from your own. So this will be interesting to see what happens. Look at that fucking growth. That's because of all the bloody um, warrior priests. Orcrawls, you got to beat the shit out of them and dominate them to confed them. I like that. I think I think that would be good. Yeah, I don't think you should do it dip diplomatically. I think you need to like like bash the crap out of them. Like I I yeah I think they should use the orc slash Nortska method, but they should only have that option. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. So you have to... Let's just say you're playing as Archeon. You have to find Sigvald and bash his fucking skull in. And only then will he confederate. If, if you choose to. Otherwise, you could, you know, get the uh, Norska option to, to get rid of him. I think that makes sense. But then... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The Norskin method? Yeah, I think the Norskin method would be good for that. Because in terms of the end times, Archeon pretty much had all... Of the Warriors of Chaos under his control. Bellacore, eh, that one's 
That one's weird. Also, don't forget the Wood Elves have different confederation um, uh, conditions. So, for example, if you're playing as Durthu, you get the option to diplomatic, well, the missions to confederate all of the legendary lords. Durthu is actually the most diplomatic out of the uh, the, the Wood Elves. Um, but if you play as Draka, you can't confederate. You cannot confederate anyone except for Durthu. That's the only one. But the other two, as in Talson and um, the Sisters of Twilight, they can confederate Draka only by making her like like them a lot. I forget about it, but they should have that mount option at least. Actually, it doesn't matter though. Hardly all need them. Yeah, only only disciplines get immortality. Uh, Jan uh, Yan J did a um, PLN twenty five super chat. Some special resource favor like favor of the gods like Empire's Prestige to represent trickster gods tormenting champions by forcing them to cooperate. Well, they get some resource called souls now, so that'd be interesting to see how that's used. And it's I think it was a, probably a good move to make it there so that um. You, if you fight demon factions, you don't get any souls because demons don't have souls, much like gingers. <laughs> so, do you know what'd be funny if they had a little bit of a a little bit of a nod to that? If you went and fought uh, Ungram Iron Fist, you don't get any souls. Uh, Slayers don't give you souls because gingers don't have souls. <laughs> or you fight Wolfric the Wanderer, it doesn't give you any souls if you beat him, because you know gingers don't have souls. Creative Assembly is not one to put in memes into the game, though. Uh, Jacob, Randall, Randall did a $2 super chat. Norskin rules, but Skaven loyalty. Keep them loyal. Uh, I don't want to see Skaven. I don't want to see more loyalty mechanic. That one's not... Nah, that's... Uh, no, I don't want to see Skaven loyalty. Nah, I, I don't like that at all. Alright, that's a bit there, and Volkmar, yep, cool. Alright, what else are we doing? I'm spending a lot of time just uh, dicking around there. Um, yeah, Volkmar, it's been ages since I leveled them up, so I just spent a bit of time doing that. Alright, we need to clear this guy out, he's clearly recruiting, and we can pick up that since he'll be on the way. This will possibly run away. We'll see. No, it didn't, okay. Yeah, it'd be fun. Let's go. Gingers do have souls? Yeah, of course they do. Well, if you even believe that souls exist. But I should, I should iterate th then that gingers are no different from anybody else. It's just, it's just a bit of a meme from a really long time ago. That's all. That's all it is. Uh, in Q and A, C A said diplomatic relations with Chaos. So the more he dominates, the more other Chaos factions will fall in line with him. So at least confirms more of the Chaos diplomacy. That's very vague. Okay, that that doesn't mean yes. shit. <laughs> so that's great. That's great. But that really tells us nothing. You know, what what that might mean is like if you have ten thousand souls plus five relations with all Chaos factions. <laughs> You know, who knows what that means, you know. We'll see. Finn Jonas K did a, ten, a two years which had enough influence with a god and only one lord. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for the chat. I, I, I don't know. Moving on. Okay, Carl Fran's next job is to come down here where the last of the cult of pleasure remains. It is time. Yeah, we blocked all Show of these. Blocked. Did I... They will be judged. Yep, blocked all of them. Uh, we haven't blocked this yet. Can't let them get around. 
Seek out the heretics. Yep. Um. Oh crap! The reg is the other army. I can't block it. Report. Sorry, I just blocked the big ones. Yes, my lord. Ugh, that army I do not want to fight. With this, nope. Do not want to fight. Tools of judgment ready. Praise Sigma. Yeah, this area here is a bit iffy. Show me the accused. I gotta be very be careful judged. there. Seek out the heretics. Just making sure no nasties come up through here. Alright, so this army no. here can travel quite a fair bit of distance up this way. I think um It seems quite likely that they would swing around over here to attack this, but there's no guarantee of that. So let's let's block this one, and then also assassinate all their fucking heroes. Cool. Yeah, I'll raise another army over here soon. Not yet though, and we'll let them. Hit, hit this over here. Are you at war with them as well? You have a yeah, okay, okay. That's yeah. good. This will need walls. Uh, just go with the growth first then. Get to tier 3. Um, do you ever use great swords? Great swords are one of the least efficient units in the uh, Empire roster. So I'll recruit the Karaber Greatswords, for sure, but outside of that, no, I, I, I very rarely recruit regular Greatswords. Um, they're just awful units, absolutely awful. Alright, so just be careful, we'll go over here and encamp stance. I'm in no rush to get to Darkhold, if we don't get there first, no big deal. I think I'll have this one come and stand over here just to make sure nobody's going over this way. Yes. And as for Marius Leetdorf, I'm just not sure what I'm doing with him. Because it might be good to wait until some of these armies have been cleared out first. Could go to Misty Mountain. But I think I, if I'm here, I can protect this pass and this pass fairly easily. So we'll just... Just keep an eye on this. Overextension here could lead to a defeat. Alright, have we done the recruiting of wizards this turn? Yeah, I've already done that. Okay. Okay. Yep, we've already moved all this stuff. And that's still going. Yep. Okay, then we just do some construction and move on. Actually, I don't really desperately need to do some construction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send Marcus Wolfhart some money. So send him some money so that he can raise some armies and hopefully do a better job with all this stuff. I'm try and help him out against Clan Pestilence a bit. So if we can send him 30 grand per turn, I think that'll keep him under control pretty pretty well. We want as many gro uh, global recruit slots as possible. That's really important. Um, that's not really that important. This settlement should be fine. Um, just leave it. Nothing there that I need. Nope, just leave all them, that's fine. Yeah, I need some more capacity of this stuff. Shouldn't need to build walls out here.
Same thing here, shouldn't need to. Public order here is finally to the point where we can tax it again, so that's good. Yep, upgrade that, it's fine. Shouldn't need to do any abandoning of that settlement. Shouldn't need to. I was talking about the Chaos Confederation, so enough influence with a certain god lets you confederate the corresponding lord, and you can only do it once, so only one confed. Are you sure about that, though? Is that what it said in the blog post? Alright, if you say so, if you say so. Um, so... Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how that actually plays out. Alright, that all seems fine. So what, you, you... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that'll play out. Uh, yep, I don't think we need to do anything else. Everything seems secure there. Oh god, look at Numas. What'll probably end up happening soon is the dwarfs will probably... Yeah, look at that. The dwarfs are going to declare war on them real soon. Which means we'll get dragged into it. So... One thing that we could do is... We could cancel the military alliance with the dwarfs. Now... They're probably not going to dislike us that much about it, but they'll never they'll never forget about it. If we have a look here, all of the actions that we're doing against other races, they'll remember for ages. The treaties with Karazakarak is only worth 76, right? But yeah, if we don't want to get dragged into a war with Numas, it might be a good idea to get out of this alliance now. Because the Karazakarak, they've only got 13 regions. They're going to start being really aggressive soon. I think. Because we... Yeah. They're going to start being really aggressive. Should we cancel this now? It could backfire on us. Because they won't immediately just turn around and declare war on us. Because we've still got other treaties with them. They won't hate us that much. And we've still got a lot of other alliances which... Oh god, imagine if they declared war on us, what a shit show it would be. Oh look at that, they're allied, allied with the pants now. Um, I think I'll, I'll wait a little bit with that. I don't think they're going to declare right away, although I don't know what he's doing. Oh, maybe he's going to Karak Orod. Okay, if he's doing that, that's fine. Alright, let's move on. Just me spitballing? Oh, okay. Look. I think um, your suggestion isn't bad, but I think spitballing can be a bit of a problem if you do that, because what ends up happening, um, if you, like, you come up with something that makes sense, and then it gets talked around, and then people get in their mind that that's what's going to happen, and then it doesn't happen, and then people get upset. So, it's probably best not to speculate too hard on this stuff right now. Why only discipline ones get immortality? Because I can recruit them at super high level, so if any of them get killed, it doesn't matter. Do you think Volkmar's priest stack you got would have done better in the battle against Wood Elves with your Swordmaster stack in your high up stream? Well, the thing is with that um, Lawmaster of Hoeth stack is that it wasn't fully leveled up, and they also didn't have all the perfect traits. Um, would the, would that one do better? Probably not. Because Lawmasters of Hoeth are definitely better than, oh god, even if we keep blocking him, he will eventually come over here. Yeah, like, it, it's really hard to say, really hard to say. Hey, Nacho Bini, you should probably read the chat rules, okay?
So go in, go into the description and read the chat rules. If you're gonna ask questions like that, you should really know what the rules are. I feel like a Skeggy is still around. Yeah, I find in my campaigns lately that Skeggy ends up actually defeating Hexawaddle. For some reason. Oh, Ironbrow Expedition still around. Are you going to keep the dwarfs your allies for the rest of the campaign or the backstab occur at some point? If we're going to go for full map completion, we have to backstab them at some point. Alright, they went and occupied Karak Muftar, that's fine. This will be ready in two turns. Yes, General. Oh, right, you need to start getting over here. Go. Not in my These guys don't have the insane trait, do they? No, because there's technically no chaos corruption there, because it's not a, it's not a proper region. The nation calls to war to the provinces. Life was it incoming? Cool. Shows up just in time. Well, actually, with one turn to spare as well. All right, so they will be judged. Speak. we have incoming. Yes. What? What have you to say? I will stop them. I trust no man. Report. I may have to send Marius Leetdorf over here to fight this. This is not that dangerous, though. Tools of judgment ready. What have you to say? Impossible. Or to my 58%. Okay. Not enough warmstone. <laughs> Think me fool, fool. Heretics. The Empire. Yes, for now. I serve the Heldenhammer. Yeah, just very slowly make our way over here. No rush. Foolish, stupid. By the comet. By the silver hammer. Yes, forward. Okay. No, no. Yep, that's fine. What do you want of the warrior queen? Who calls? Oof, I'd hate to leave these settlements here poorly defended. Show me the accused. They will be judged. No, no trophies today. I trust no man. Keep scouting this area. The nation calls. 
Uh, Roger Rabbit did a five little super chat. With a high elf tier one archer stack at gold level with bolt throwers and one hero, could you beat any other stack in the game? Oh, no, definitely not. No. No. Like, it's really efficient, but there are definitely armies out there that you could lose to, for sure. Now, on march. Find a comet. Don't need to block them. Do need to block this. Alright, so they can actually recruit Glade Guard from Zaraxil. They haven't started recruiting any yet. But we'll see what happens there. They will be judged. I will weigh what you have to say and the merit of your actions. Servant of Sigma. Sigma right Good, that secures Nexa. this province. Praise and you may go. Cool. And I you start making your way down here. Speaking of which, let me just have a look to see. Oh, okay, I was just going to see if discipline was available. Okay. Make your way down here. Yeah, they didn't bother making an attack. Champion of the faith. I live to serve the Emperor. Moving out. Ready? What orders? Right. They will not recruit any units. Do you know why? Because they can't recruit anything from there. Because that is definitely a port building. So the uh, Sisters of Twilight, they're, they're defeated. They're Show as good as the defeated. Accused. Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. I trust no man. They will be judged. Let us forge our faith. Let us move. Okay, this all seems fine. Single hero can settle a settlement. A single lord can, yeah. What? For Sigma. Not a hero. Heroes can't settle settlements. It's gotta be a lord. The nation calls. I should cut you down for mm -hmm. wasting my time. Who calls beneath me? Yeah, I think I'd rather block um, Malice Darkblade there. I don't think Hellebron's that big of a concern. Warrior of Sigma. Yeah, just, uh, just stay here, wait for Volkmar. So we'll have Volkmar come through this way, and the steam tank army will come through here. As for all these black arcs, none of them really matter. I think. But we should probably get the Twisted Glades walled up as soon as possible. I think we need... No, no, keep that there for now. Alright, that's fine there. Yeah, the Dark Elves own this territory down here. Bring me to my men. Mm, seems pretty unlikely that... Like, there's armies over here. Step to it. Yeah, one scout isn't particularly very good, so let's get another one. The nation calls. Seek out the heretics. All right, who else do we need to move? So yeah, not a particularly eventful turn there. Yeah, so Marius is going to have to deal with this, I think. Unless Thorgrim can sort it out for me. That'd actually be really good if Thorgrim can go and sort that out. Um, but yeah, he's not going to move that far. Maybe just move over to here, but staying in camp stance. To strengthen the empire. Okay. Yep, that one just stays put. All right, what do we got going on over here? Disciplined. 
Alright, well, we don't want Discipline Fire Wizard, so get rid of that. Ready to burn them. Ever vigilant. Good money coming in at 72,000. Is Teotuga the only faction that has all climates as suitable? Uh, do you mean Oxyodal's faction, the Ghosts of Pahuax? It definitely isn't uh, Teotika. I'm the W accountant of CA, and I've seen records showing recent transactions in the Legend account. <laughs> yeah, right. For, okay, well that's false, and yeah, uh, what, what a what a troll comment. Yeah, look, I, look, guys, my uncle works at Creative Assembly, and I can tell you right now that they're working on a Harry Potter Total War. Okay, my uncle told me he works at Harry Potter. He works at um, Total War. Alright. Alright, I want to send Marcus Wolfhart 30 well, grand every turn. <laughs> I've to to. Agree. Hopefully he'll just like spam out armies and dominate Lostria. Because we're, we're pretty good for money now. And the great thing about using Marcus Wolfhart to conquer a province, especially against Skaven, is that I don't risk a defeat. He does. And we can still get some construction done as well. Did I miss a super chat? Sorry, let me go up and check. No. No, I don't think so. Actually, 8% here wouldn't go to stray. First. Cool. I serve Sigma. Yep, you get knowledge of uh, immortality, that's good. Alright, I think we're good to end the turn there. Yeah, repair that because I'll need to upgrade it. Get the growth coming in. Alright. Marcus Wolfhard is the only faction that we don't ever need to go to war with. We can confederate him whenever we want. So what we want to do is confederate him at the very end of the campaign. If we could use Marcus Wolfhard to like double team the High Elves, that'd just be awesome. But he has to own all of Lustria first. Alright, that all seems fine. Let's move on. If they added shielded greatswords, would that make them usable? Uh, it'd make them better, for sure. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Is straight farming optimal in Warhammer 3 right now? In the Realm of Chaos campaign? Oh, I don't think so. The Azazel DLC will be a paid one? Most likely, yeah. Alright, well, he didn't force march that time.
Looks like the Skaven lost there. I didn't see them win. Yeah, boy. Get those armies. I'll pay for them. No, Thorgrim. Well, he won. That's great and everything. But that's not where I wanted him to go. See, this is what I was saying before. Um, you know, you can give them an order, but they won't necessarily do it. You know, he saw it was possible for him to get a settlement, and they'll prioritize that. Where did that other army go, though? Oh, I think it's still sitting there. Could be sitting over here. Need to check. Is Legendary much harder than Very Hard? I'm thinking about coming up to difficulty soon. It is a bit more difficult. It is a bit. So it comes down to this. Like, I probably wouldn't really notice the difference between Very Hard and Legendary. But if you play on Very Hard difficulty and you find it easy, then Legendary difficulty should be fine. But if you play on Very Hard difficulty and you barely manage, then you'll probably not manage Legendary difficulty. How likely does Legend think it is he'll have to do with this as Total War Cetera? Uh, it's possible. You know, we did gain a good number of subs today, but it'll probably die off a little bit, the sub gain rate. Like, I'll give you the exact number that we're up to at the moment. So the goal is 436,000, uh, and we're at 432,445. So just, just so you guys know, when I posted that community post, we were at 431,500. So we gained 900 odd subscribers from that post. And we've got about two weeks. Two to three weeks, roughly, to, um, to get that number. Will we get there? Really hard to say. Do you think there'll be a cross confederation between houses like Slytherin and Gryffindor, or maybe only Dumbledore can confederate them all? <laughs> uh, no, nah, they'll all not be able to confederate. The only one that's able to do any confederations will be um, uh, uh, fucking Voldemort. And uh, you have to wizard duel them in order to, uh, oh god, in order to confederate. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ally mobilizes against force. That's not what it looked like. Seek out the heretics. Speak. I trust no man. Yes. They will be judged by the comet. Alright, cool. We got just enough movement to get to Darkhold there. No landmarks here for us. Oh well, don't need that. Now, report. Show me the accused. It is time. Tools of judgment ready. All right. Yeah, we just got to keep an eye on them. They like us, but the game can start throwing curveballs at you when Archeon shows up, or after Archeon's time? done. Tools of judgment ready. Alright, I thought these armies jumped away, but they didn't. Seek out the heretics. They will be judged. Report. Ready. What have you to say? Show me the accused. On march! Alright, we seem to be in the clear yes. out here. Pick up the pace. Yep. No issues, that's good. Clear of Skaven. Nice. But yeah, it does seem like I'm gonna be the one to have to deal with Snitch.
But we should, uh, before making the attack, we should really make sure we assassinate some of these heroes, since our army's not great at dealing with that. Uh, and it would be great if we had a full stack going up against not a full stack. That'd be good. Because, yeah, obviously we want to try to guarantee victories. Be pretty silly to lose, having come this far. No immortality for them. Quick says no. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite legendary lord in terms of voice line? Um, Ikid Claw, I think. It's got some good ones. I, I like all the voice acting for the most part. Praise be to Sigma. Okay, now we can send... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is beneath me. The Empire. Yeah, block, uh, block Mal's Dark Blade there. By the silver hammer. We can send this army to over serve. to the Moon Shard. Should be able to land an attack straight away, if you here land over serve. here. And this will eliminate the um, Heralds of Ariel. Ah, oh, piece Sigma of crap. Maybe I have to land from the other side. And Volkmar. Just had a bit of a stream fight there. You didn't miss out anything apart from we couldn't launch the attack here. Shouldn't matter. I don't think anyone's going to be able to get to us. And even if they do, you know, this is a very strong army. Should be able to manage. Um, but yeah, that sucked. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Alright, if we stand here, we'll take a little bit of attrition, but we should be fine. At least they can't jump in the underway. This last two streams, how much of the map's been taken over? Okay, let's have a look. So, I've got 176 settlements, which actually means we've got half the map. <laughs> About half the map. There's, uh, yeah. 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 I think we're conquering at a pretty decent rate. Okay, we should start our conquest from down here, not from there. Take away their port. That way no black arcs can show up over here. Let's not go in force march. I think that could be a mistake. Yep, that's fine. Is there a landmark in the Empire in Pig Barter? Yes, there is, and we've got it. It is the Pig Barter Swamp Wharf. Okay, get the walls up there, and the Shattered Cove need me. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Just uh, until we're completely secure in the area. Alright, Gotrick's done. Volkmar is done. Marius Leetdorf. Yep. This guy. Yep. This guy. Yep. Uh, yep, next turn they get moving. There you go. So this is the army that's going to go and fight Chaos. Well, specifically Archeon. Alright, let's have a look here. Good, new disciplined one here. Good, good, good. That means we only need, what, seven more? No, six more. And then the Beast Wizard Doom stack is done. Praise be to Sigma. Oh, this one here is not. Oh, this one can go straight to Griffin there. Good stuff. Checking their mounts. This one here doesn't have one. Make sure they get their immortality. Arch Lecter. I don't know if sending these into um, the Athel into Athelorin is a good idea. 
Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to suffer a defeat now that I'm alone again. Uh, yeah, stay there, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. I guess that's another thing that we need to make sure of. We should put some really good equipment on this guy. Um, he'll need, yeah, need the Winds of Magic. Good, 28. Anything else that we need here? Public order not needed. Untainted, not gonna matter. Campaign movement range, not gonna matter. Uh, that's not gonna matter. No, 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 no. no. Don't need research right anymore, it's done. Okay, that, that's all. And then in terms of armor... Uh, Helm of Discord, that'll be useful. Torment is sort of be good. That's really good. And... Oh, we can't actually give him anything that gives him more abilities. Yeah, we're gonna need that Winds of Magic there. Alright, cool. Because, yeah, this army has to take out three armies all in one turn while tired. Because they have to stay in raid stance or else they'll end up taking damage. It's better to take damage than... Sorry, better to take fatigue than damage. But yeah, it is uh, fast approaching. Okay, on time is coming. Lawmaster stack vibes if they go down to Lauren. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm very much aware. Thing is, though, I think that Bretonia will suck against this because cavalry is really easy to take out with Flock of Doom. We're relatively easy to take out. Uh, although, Knights of the Realm would be a bit of a problem. Because, yeah, we're going to have to take on Bretonia at some point, just not yet. Once the um, Shield of Civilization comes in, we're going to have to be very careful about which alliances to keep and which ones not to keep because they're going to start backstabbing each other. One thing to do is anybody that we don't have an alliance with, immediately get rid of... Actually, we should probably start doing that now. Anyone we don't have an alliance with... Oh, greater marksman. What matters do you bring before the okay, next time he offers an alliance, I'll accept it. But yeah, anyone that we don't have an alliance with, we'll need to cancel all treaties with them. So, Thegan's Errantry, for example. Um, I guess we could just go Defensive Alliance with some of them. Because, the yeah, they're going to start backstabbing each other really quickly. If Thegan's Errantry was to declare war on us... Uh, they'll jump in against us because we got no treaties with them. I'm pretty sure Karazza Karak will side with us. Sudenberg will jump in. Border Princes will side with us because the, they'll always side with the Defender. Knights of Origo won't do anything. Hmm. Let's see what else there is. So, yeah, let's have a look. Organize it via treaties first. Okay. Alliance, keep that for now. Keep Lord it. Of keep keep these out. alliances. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. So I'm doing this stuff now so that the 10 turn cooldown is My over once um, Archeon is through. wiped out. Torgavan, um, they hate me. They're going to cancel their treaties any moment now. Yeah, any fucking moment. Just... Your reach exceeds your grasp, son of Sigma. Yeah, time to piss off. Um, that's it. Alright, so that means... Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, that means that only the Hunts Marshal Expedition and Thegan's Errantry, they're the only ones that we don't have alliances with, that we have... Oh, hang on. All right, what about trade agreements? Yeah, um, get rid of this trade agreement. But I ask that you be swift in your intent. Uh, okay, maybe... Mm, shit, I don't want to get rid of the trade agreement. We are here to listen, and... Okay. Protector of the realm. Hail, fellow nation. Okay. That way, we only have alliance treaties. 
Uh, except for the Hunts Marshall Expedition. I can't offer an alliance to him, he has to offer it to me. That way, if any one of my allies declares war on any one of my allies, I can just side with the defender. Unless, of course, we're fucked if we do that. So, for example, if the High Elves declare war on on Karon, we can side with Karon. But if, the, if Karon declares war on the High Elves, I have to decline because... Is that a military alliance? Yeah. Because they're on our border, whereas the High Elves... If the High Elves went to war with us, they wouldn't be able to strike us right away. Maybe I shouldn't be allied with the High Elves at all. Mm -hmm. Let's just see how that plays out. But basically, I feel like very soon, things are going to turn to shit really quickly. And we just have to predict where this powder keg is going to go off first. Because as soon as Archeon's dead, all bets are off. Diplomacy means nothing after that. All order tied factions become unreliable. And they'll all start backstabbing each other. And we're going to get caught in the middle of it. This is why we've got to be ready for it. We've got to be ready for it now. You know, make sure that we've got... Make sure that none of their forces can declare war on us on a, in a pinch. So, walls and half over here. Um, if we go to war with them. Uh, Nashrek's lair will need to be walled up. we got to start preparing for the worst case scenarios. Walled walls, yep. Just in case. They don't have any forces up here anyway. Yeah, we're pretty safe out there. Okay, so yeah, if the dwarves went to war with us, I think we're pretty okay. In terms of them striking us straight away. Should be okay. Um, border princes. That would be a problem there. We need to get Zvorak developed. And walled up. Because at least if a wall is built, they don't immediately... They might not uh, immediately launch an attack. There's no forces over here right now. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Okay. Alright, have all of our military movements been made? Arcane spawns around turn 140. Roughly around turn 140, yeah. And when he shows up, we have to kill him immediately. We can't dilly-dally, because otherwise we'll, we'll suffer a defeat over the end turn. So that's why we're building an army. Good enough to take him out straight away. Okay. Then we send money to... Uh, where is it? Marcus Wolfhart. Time, no so yeah, I'm giving him 30 grand a turn so that he builds armies worthy of Mordor. <laughs> so that he takes out. Um, Show me the it shall be done. Yeah. I'll pay for his armies so that he does all the conquest. Because I don't want to fight this shit. And then still leaves us with a bit of money to do stuff. Because, yeah, Archeon will show up with, like, a whole bunch of armies around here. And they strike you straight away. That's why I have to take him out immediately. Why bothering with allies? The allies have been really helpful up until this point. So now, now what I'm trying to do is getting out of the alliances without them immediately turning on me straight away. So we're going to have to play a really strong diplomacy game coming up. Trust me, the, the allies... See, having a lot of allies deters other factions from declaring war on us. But the game will sometimes throw curveballs at you. I... Yeah, no, it's fine. Um... Mm-hmm. 10 grand. We just want to make sure if we're going to upgrade something, it's got to be of some real value. Like, even money here. Like, it's red territory, but we'll still get more than 50% of it. So we'll get 125 out of that, which is better than nothing. And, you know, there's some provinces that are just maxed out in terms of money. Okay, uh, you know what? I can probably ask the dwarfs again yeah, for some cash. Greetings. 
What do you require of the Karazhan Corps? Fine! Cool. Got the cash I needed for that. Cool. Alright. Uh, everyone's been blocked, right? Everyone that needed to be blocked has been blocked. Have we done all the blocking? I think not. I have not blocked over here. So, speak. Don't need to block this. Oh, look at that. The high elves actually repelled it. How about that? Shit. Well, they're still not strong enough to take on Skaven Blight, I think. But, um, I think they're having a hard time replacing their units out here. Seems like uh, <laughs> here it's a beginning of the end for Ikit Claw, and that's fine. That's fine. We don't want to be dealing with Skaven because they're fucking ambushes. I don't want to click that. There's nothing we can do there. Um, yeah, getting into Athel Lauren is going to be a fucking pain. Alright, these two here. Go stand over here and help grow this province up. Let us forge our faith. And can you agent assassinate the big chaos trio steel? Yeah, if you play as Nagareth, you can, but not with any other faction. Does the AO even use gold? Yes, they do use gold. Okay, didn't do a lot of scouting there. That's okay. The nation calls. What? So we're strength ranking one, but it seems like Etain is nipping at our heels there. Probably because we did disband a lot of armies. We just didn't need them now. Level 40 bloody hero there. Can't you wait for Chaos in Encamp Stance? Yes, you can, but you can't move in encamp stance. You can move in raid stance. So what you do is you be at full strength, then you just move in raid stance to the position that you need to be, and then just stay in raid stance. There's a lot of armies there. Is this the longest you've gone without a defeat? Uh, in terms of turn number, yes, I think so. Um, but not in terms of campaign actual progression. Do you think dwarfs will get new units or mechanics? Uh, not anytime soon. God damn. You can move in encamp stance in Woman 3. Yep, but you can't attack in, in, in encamp stance. You need to be able to attack in in the, the uh, anti-attrition uh, stance. That's why you have to be in raid. Good, that's it. Occupy it. Yeah, next time Marcus Wolfhart asks for any kind of alliance, I'll side with him. Because, yeah, if I could somehow make him the second strongest faction in the game, then other factions will be less inclined to fuck with me. Move in raid stance, but wait in camp stance. That way you won't fight as tired. Oh my god, man. I, I don't know how to fucking tell you. No, that won't work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have to, you don't understand, you take attrition while moving through the Chaos Waste. Oh, like a lot of attrition, especially with single entities. Okay, but you don't take any attrition in Raid Stance, so you have to attack in Raid Stance. God damn it, man. Just, fucking hell, if you don't know what you're talking about, just don't fucking say anything. Like, I've done this before, okay? <laughs> In camp stance will not cut it. It's not that big of a deal to fight them in uh, raid stance. Yep, 
Yeah. If we could... Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's a my... No. I forgot that they were at war. It's my sack city. People talk shit about Tomb Kings, but I assume I would be close to map completion. Oh, I'd be close to map completion too if I wasn't being so cautious. For sure. This isn't a Blitz campaign. You know, our progress is naturally quite slow because we're being very careful. Hypothetically, if you lose now, stream's over. Yep. Ariel must have been sitting there all that time. Only to get wiped out right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sack and the city. You can't sack it and besiege it. It won't work. I think we're just going to have to occupy it. At least we've got a, um, a griffin or two now. And just find somewhere else to, uh... Alright. So, yeah. Well, you know, we got a few sacks out of it, if we have a look at it. Um, good relations with them. Uh, can we get you to join war against... Arguillon? Hmm, okay. If we could get um, Karone to, to like, to send army after army into Athel Lauren, that'll be hilarious. I'd have to pay him a lot of money, because he hasn't met them yet. I'm sure as soon as he does meet them... Oh, no, he doesn't hate them that much. Bordelow's got more uh, territory than him. But Bordelow could get confederated at any moment. I'm actually surprised they haven't been confederated yet. But yeah, there's basically no way to stop him from occupying this next turn. Short of losing a battle there, but then the campaign's over. So we can't do that. So I can get one more sack out of it. Or I could besiege it, but he'll just sit there eternally. I guess we can just we can see how that the plays out. Faith shields us. Good, another one showed up. Almost there. Almost there with this. Okay, and this army is now ready to move up here. So what we do is we move to here, switch to raid stance, and then move the rest of the way in raid stance. And we've got more than enough time. We've got a minimum of eight turns before um, Archeon can show up. And Gilt will be coming back next turn. He's got lots of campaign movement range. Awaiting orders. All right, bye-bye, Heralds of Ariel. It's been... Nah, just fuck you. Gone. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. What do you require? I trust no man. Judgment is death. We could have Marathi popped up around here so we can get her trade again, because Carl Franz is the only one that got it so far. Alright, I need to know what's going on out here. The nation calls. Tools of judgment ready. All right, nobody's the threatening the moon shard. That's good. March on the witches. 
I thought I saw an army come down this way. It must have got wrecked by the Exiles of Nehek, which... Yeah, that makes sense, because look how damaged they are. Um, okay. I can reach... I think I can reach Malekith there. Good, block him. And block Malice. Oh shit, I didn't make... Didn't make it. Okay. Okay. Sigma grant me strength. I refuse. What do you never yield? Futile. Okay, going up against it, I'm going to make this attack, but going up against it, we need to make sure that Volkmar is not on his um, Pope Mobile because the Dark Shards will just, hang on, let me just check this. See, if I take him off the Pope Mobile, they will just not be able to shoot him. Could switch him to be the Electric Can of Wissenland for the extra missile resistance. Hang on, let's make sure all these guys are on foot. Yeah, being on horse in this coming battle is going to be a gigantic mistake. The only problem is, if we're... Grand Yeah, that's fine. If we're on the Pope Mobile, it makes him unbreakable. And also, um, we get two units of banishment, which really shouldn't matter because we've got ridiculous amounts of Winds of Magic. Alright, make sure that these levels have been done before we charge in here. But yeah, I do think that it would be better in this situation here to not be on the War Altar of Sigma. By the Heldenhammer. Did that just deplete, like, a lot of our movement? Oh, no, 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 it was fine. What guild did you choose? I always go with the um, uh, spy guild. No, trade guild. The one that gives you campaign movement range. Blessings right. of Sigma upon you. Yes, general. They will be judged. The righteous hammer of Sigma. We're not at full strength. That shouldn't matter. We'll heal before the battle even begins. Yeah, if we're all on foot, then the artillery and the dark shards, they won't be able to do anything. But the only one that's really going to hurt us is Mal's Dark Blade. Could just sort of resolve it. <laughs> that lives in bad shape against Malekith. Uh, nah. Let's let's put it to the test. Uh, legend first defeat incoming. I, I I really want to see how well this does. Because the game does not take healing into consideration, and we're already a little bit damaged. And this warrior priest army is really anti infantry, and they're almost entirely anti uh, infantry. The only single entity is Malice Darkblade. Main thing here is not to smash him too hard, because then he'll go full, um, Tsarkan. So what we want to do is ideally keep him distracted. 
Our leadership is high enough that we shouldn't have anyone routing under any circumstances. But yeah, if we stay nice and small, they can't do anything to us. Also, we can focus on some buffs. Volkmar has 134 leadership. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I need you control group 1, you control group 3, you control group... Yeah, that's fine, it's not doing anything to us. Even if they hit us with that, it just... It doesn't do anything. Oh, no, it kind of does. Alright, fuck it, here we go. Here we go. Uh, shoot at my life wizard instead of, uh, instead of the, uh, these guys here would be better. This guy comes with fleet footed. Stay together. Okay, good, that's it. Shoot at the life wizard. Uh, so for Munch, did introduce Super Chat saying good luck, sir. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Eighteen angry bald men. Uh, yep, that would be, that'd be correct. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. All right, just wait. <laughs> just looks very satisfying. The Beast Wizard is just here for Siege Attacker. That's the only reason it's in here. Watch uh, out from freaking Malice. Shooting at my freaking life wizard, I need him. Down. Nice. Incoming nuke. Okay, get rid of these fucking artillery here for me. That'd be really great. This guy here's taking a bit of damage. Should have wasted ammo. Yeah. Yeah, may should have. Yeah, but I think we can manage. Anyway. This guy here's taking too much damage. Move him out of there. Quickly! 
I think we need to dwell as below this over here. Too much bounce of powers in their missile units. Yeah, try not to hurt Malice, because otherwise he'll just go full Tarkan, that's not ideal. Maybe I do actually need to take him out. I don't like the idea of doing this. This one here is real bad shape. Try to get him out of there if we can. Don't hurt him too much or else the army losses will trigger it. Ah, uh, sorry, the, uh, he'll do, um, what's it called? Full Sarkhan. It's definitely not, like, completely foolproof, that's for sure. This guy here is really having a hard time. Okay, bring the Life Wizard back over here, try to get a little bit more healing in. really don't want to have to go deal with fucking Sarkhan, but he's just right up in my face. Yeah, he just went full Sarkhan, so now we have to deal with him. We don't have a choice. He's supposed to help to distract the missile units. It's too big. It was too big. This is fine. He's only here for siege attacker. He gets shot down otherwise. Keep focusing on them heals. What's how much ward stab has he got? Yeah, fucking heaps. That won't do anything because he's got magical attacks. We're okay. Alright, let's bring in the Beast Wizard now and try to do a little bit because it is a full. Oh shit. How this Life Wizard is hurt. But yeah, we definitely should have wasted their missiles first. All these Dark Shards were a massive pain. They just do so much damage. Malice is taking fucking forever to... ...go down. Oh shit. If it goes over this way, that could be really bad. Look at that, Volkmar had his maximum regen. God damn. There we go, there's the army losses at least. You lost the whole stack because you didn't waste the missiles as well. 
They didn't have missile units in that. I, we did try to waste the ammo in that in that um, that law master of Hoeth um, Doomstack. I did try to waste their ammo. It still ended up losing. All right, we just got to. He's unbreakable. I got to take him out. But yeah, this definitely would have gone better if we did waste our ammo, but this was nothing compared to the, uh, that tree men doomstack we went up against. Uh, Doughty Bob did a five pencil which had that soul fire looks more like an ion cannon from Command & Conquer, very satisfying. Look luck with the rest of the campaign. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Yeah, we're in okay shape. You enjoyed Mortal Empire Battle? Who is most powerful now? It's impossible to tell who is the most powerful on the campaign map. Um, based on custom battles. Absolutely impossible to tell. Almost gone. Yeah, he's got the warp sword of Kane, so that gives him a lot of extra um, regen. Last so bloody long. Where's that helm of Discord when you need it? Uh, oh shit, I've actually got that there. I might have a helm of Discord. Let me just check. Yeah, I forgot I had it. I had a sort of torment. That was okay. We got through it, and. Uh, you know, a bit of damage, but nothing too severe. So we know that a Warrior Priest Doomstack can at least handle Malice Darkblade without any serious casualties, so that's good. Why not use Pans and Penetrable Pelt? Uh, because it provides physical resistance and he had magical attack, so it wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> I would have provided melee defense, that's true. Um, but yeah, it's just more important to just uh, keep their healing up. Like we, did, we didn't take much damage. Don't forget we walked into the battle with some damage. following Sigmar's path. The annoying thing here is if we go back to war with, uh, back to fight Mouse Darkblade, he'll immediately go to Sarkhan again. Blessings of um, I imagine that attacking Malekith will actually be easier. Tools of judgment I don't have the movement to block him. Of course, if we beat him again, he gets wiped out. Volkmar the Grim. Malice, uh, sorry, Malekith can't move very far. But he could probably force march to us over here if we want to stay here. We might just be able to auto resolve that as well. Then again, we can use that as an opportunity to heal because he'll just immediately go full Tsarkan. And all we have to do is just wait for him to die off. Yeah, we can. We might be able to get to near full health. Since we got rid of. Okay, yeah, he doesn't need to go in his Volkswagen just yet. Why Beast Mage in the army? Uh, Siege Attacker. Yeah, Auto Resolve will be fine, but I reckon we can go into this and um, not take... Actually, recover our damage. Just Auto Resolve it. Yeah, yeah, I wanted... I think we can heal in this battle. So, if Malice Darkblade immediately goes full Tsarkand, but doesn't rush at us, which they might not, because they obviously have Missile Superiority, he'll just decay down to nothing. 
Which is better, sort of cane or slash blade? Slash blade, obviously. Way better. So yeah, he'll go full Sarkan straight away. Yeah, there he goes. He's gone full Sarkan. And... It does seem like he's moving. That's fine. Alright, let's take the most damaged. Everybody here. And let's just try to stay away from them until... <laughs> just have Mal's Dark Blade uh, just die on his own account while we heal. Yeah, look at that. No. Don't want to fight him. Just avoid. Of course, they'll eventually catch up, but it's fine. He's already lost half his health. Can you hide until he dies? I won't be able to hide because of the uh, amp. Well, actually, it's not a bad idea. Probably could. Alright, uh, let's see. I'll have to get them over to there. They're catching up with the pair a bit, though. Oh, look there. <laughs> he's, he's getting fucked up. Alright, let's get the dwells below down right there. Can you walk into it. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it, that makes heal. There he goes, look at him. To your earlier question, I believe it would be good if only Archeon could fit everyone. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. That makes sense. What if it was like, um... Only Archeon can confederate everyone. Only uh, Kolek can only confederate undivided Warriors of Chaos. So, for example, Kolek can confederate Bel Belakor and Archeon, but can't confederate anyone that's Monogod. Sigvold can confederate Slanesh, so he can confederate Azazel and Undivided. Um, and the other Undivideds can, uh, can confederate the undivided, or maybe just not their opposite. So, for example, Slanesh can't confederate. Um, uh, Corn, but can confederate Nurgle and um, Cinch. What if it was like that? And like Cinch can't confederate Nurgle. Yeah, they're actually faster than us. <laughs> okay, if I pop down the Curse of Andra here, I'll slow them down a little bit. Yeah, they still try to run. Do you think they'll make it that complicated? Um, no, usually they'll go with the simplest option. I was just offering a suggestion. I don't, I don't think that's what they will do.
Alright, we're in better shape than we were at the start of the battle, that's for sure. Alright, that'll, that'll do. Daniel should be able to confed all demons. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not opposed to that. Alright, I'm far less concerned about um, Archeon. Uh, Archeon. Um, Malekith. He still has a lot of Dark Shards, so I don't think we should go on the Pope Mobile. Like, it'd be okay to go up against, like, regular archers. Like, against this, it'll be fine. But Dark Shards just absolutely shred that thing. Um, yeah, just stay put there, that's fine. Got a Talisman of Preservation, so that's good. I'll pop that on a... Do we have a disciplined one that we haven't... Got any equipment on? No. Oh, I guess I could put the, the Talisman of Preservation on you. Yeah. You did get shot a fair bit. Eh, don't need any of that. I'll give you a Forbidden Rod. And a Potion of Healing to compensate for it. That way I don't need to use any of the other stuff. No, don't worry about that. Cool. Alright, that's sorted for now. Uh, Volkmar gets level up. What do you want? Yeah, I want him to hit harder. Cool. Alright, what do we need to do? Okay, Carl Franz is making his way down here. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> I think I just, just saw a lot of flags and was like, shit. Oh, it's Marathi again. Come on. What have you to say? He's already got Marathi's tribe. I'm not going to tag him out for them. Yeah, we're at full strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see anything too bad there. Protector of the weak. I trust no man. Show me the accused. Report. Okay, we need to be blocking and assassinating these characters. Um. Why can't I assassinate the other one there? No. Oh, no, I did. Okay. Okay, you can only move to there. Ideally, what we want is for Snick to turn back around and go and fight the dwarves instead. So, I'll just stay right here in encamp stance. Looking at all the stuff down here, all of this stuff seems fine. I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. Hmm. I'm not gonna block them this turn because I want I actually wouldn't mind if they killed off all these dwarfs I think that'd be pretty funny because yeah I don't need to wipe out the skaven right now I just need yeah just uh, just let the status quo continue there they blew up that settlement. This over here is recruiting new units. They can't recruit anything new now. That's it. That's the end of their recruitment. And hopefully... Okay, that's right. I was going to... Give uh, you a whole bunch of money to see if you would go to war with Argwalon, just so that this could keep you busy. It's a lot of money. But yeah, if we can just get Bretonia to take out Durthu, that'll be really good, because that's just a really difficult position to have to attack. 
Never. Well, fuck. If I send him to Talson, he can maybe go take out the Oak of Ages, and he'll trespass on everyone else's territory and piss them off. Our neighbors in the east deign to visit. And he'll meet I hope you bring glad the other one. Let me have a look. Alright, he's mar- Okay, this, this might work. Look at that. I only need a small amount of money. I will not. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is good. So here's the thought. They haven't actually met Argulon yet, so I'll send him to attack Talson. He'll go over to here attack that, but he'll meet Durthub in doing that, and then I'll be able to get either one of them to attack each other. Should be fine. Unwise. Come on, man. Counter-offer. Counter-offer. Barter deal. By my lady. Fucking hell, man. Oh. Moderate. What the fuck does that mean? No. <laughs> Come on, give me a ballpark for fuck's sake. Short sighted. I Finally, Jesus. All right, then tell that one to go after the Oak of Ages. So yeah, he'll come in here, take the Oak of Ages, I hope, and then it'll just piss off everyone in here, and then that'll keep Bretonia busy for the t for the foreseeable future. All right, and I've still got enough money to give Let's get on him his uh, yes. daily gift. Tools of judgment ready. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. Do you think CA will give Worm of Two Factions new mechanics and are you like Clan Pestilence getting like a Plague Cauldron like Nogal has? Um, maybe eventually, but probably not to begin with. I think they're just gonna focus on trying to port them over. An audience. Very well. Mm. Yeah, this one here, just keep an eye on this area for the time I being. Trust no man. Heretic. They will be but judged. don't don't do anything right now. Sigmarite Arch Lecture. Okay, that's all of my military movements made. Uh, we already did all this, the uh, actions out here. That's good. Keeping an eye on everything. Yes. Step to it. Onwards. Putting these points in here just helps to protect against enemy agent actions. Show me the accused. Public order's fine. We can get rid of that. Goth growth or something. Too bad I can't buy settlements. That'd be useful. Just save up loads of money and just keep buying them. I will marshal the men. Force march this it turn. Is Wait, is Gelt back? No, he gets it back next turn. Champion of the faith. Yes, son of Sigma. Seek out the heretics. Seek out the heretics. The Empire. Onwards. What do you require? Okay. Alright, still got a little bit of money left over. Let's construct some stuff.
Okay, out of cash. Cool. Oh yeah, I still got this battle over here to do, but that's just not needed at all. Alright, get these ones over I'll here. Yep. Uh. Okay, let's move on. I see guilt is being moved to kill chaos. Exactly, yep. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. I'm actually rooting for the Skaven. And the Skaven won. Good. Last thing we need is like high elves getting really high level heroes. Oh, Hexvital's still actually still alive. How about that? You can give that item of the battle to any lord, by the way, not just friends. Yep, I know that, but that item is not needed one bit. Ooh, ambush dance. The thing is, our army is not susceptible to ambush at all, so if we got ambush, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't block them, because... <laughs> I fucked over the dwarves. I don't care who loses as long as uh, I win eventually. Yeah, just have them constantly killing off each other's armies until we're ready to come over here. Oh, one of their armies got completely wiped. Nice. <laughs> Fucking dwarfs. <laughs> Sentinels of Zeddy has been destroyed. Good. Yeah. Okay. I I knew that this was going to happen. I didn't have any treaties with them, did I? No, I didn't sign any treaties because I knew something like this would happen. Um, this is fine. So entering on their side shouldn't lower my reliability at all. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't break any treaties. Alright, that's fine. See, this is what I was saying about making sure that I only have treaties with allies. Alright, they still ended up winning. Tell you what, Dwarfs made a big comeback. At one point in this campaign, they only had one settlement left. All of their armies are down the south, so all of their rich Silver Road territory, that's ripe for the taking. But getting out of this alliance and getting a, a good opportunity to attack them is going to be very tricky. So we need them to be very distracted when we do that. What happens here? So yeah, I did just pay them a lot of money. Yeah, well, we'll see. Do you know what else might be a good idea? If we declare war on all of the pirates out there and get all of our military allies to go and sort that out. Because the thing is, with those pirates, they're very anti-player. They'll declare war on you when you come in range of them, but they never declare war on the uh, AI. Thorik's still kicking? Yep, Thorik's still out there kicking. Might be a good idea to... Um, 
to meet Thorak and immediately declare war on him so that Karaza Karak doesn't confederate him. Because Belagar's gone, which is good. Karak Kedrins is still around though. Do you want to declare war on the dwarves? If we're going to do full map completion, we have to conquer everyone. So we have to... Everybody has to die if, if we eventually want to do it. There's a lot of work involved in getting out of these alliances without them getting the jump on us. Um, you know, we're not the high elves. I can't afford to just recruit 40 armies and be everywhere at once. So Order 66ing in this campaign is going to be a lot more difficult than it was in the high elf campaign. A lot more difficult. I have to do it one at a time, basically. Yeah, look at this. They ruined well this and then disbanded half their army and they haven't replaced it. They're actually weaker now because of it. See, I can declare war on all these. It should be fine. I don't know where Celestial Storm is. Don't the pirates don't just come back though? I don't think they do. I, don't, I never see them come back. Consider this a chance to impress me. But yeah, do it now before Archeon shows up. Because if we leave it until afterwards, they actually might cancel it. Done well to make it this they, they may not side with me. One times grow down. Voila! No. A timely arrival. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this one's still just sitting here. Yeah. For the Emperor! Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see about that. Alright, you're tagged out for guilt. Oh, God, i got to find him in this mess. Alright, there he is. I am a supreme patriarch. Alright, you need to get into raid stance. Wind of Shaman, I will. Yes. I am in ascent. Follow me. Well. Okay, and then we just raid our way there. That way we will take absolutely no attrition. Yep, yeah, well that's fine. I think this one here assassinated. No, no. Since one's, oh, no one's going to be able to make it back. By the comet. Yeah, you have to do it. Of course. Arch Lecter. Okay, so Volkmar is going to head over to ancient city of Quintex. I don't anticipate any problems on the way there. Heldon. Do you need to prepare for chaos invading Nagarond? No. No, I have to fight that manually. But I'm far less concerned about this one than I was about um, Malice. Yeah, yeah. This will be fine. You forgot Warrior Priest for Stink Tank Doomstack? Um, we don't need a Warrior Priest in that army. I'd much rather have more firepower. It's still early. He can show up at turn 140 earliest, having 5% chance to appear every turn following. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It's still early. But I want to be there ready beforehand. I'm going to get the Amber Wizard to go and waste some ammo since they're just going to sit there. This will give us an opportunity to just get a bit more healing done. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm not going to waste ammo. I'm just, I'll go pop down a Dwellers Below. Let them know I'm coming this way. They'll just sit there.
So let's try to get up to full strength first. Alright, that should do it. Oh, hang on, hang on, just wait for them. Oh, no, 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 if I do it while they're walking through, they'll be good. Don't overcast it, won't increase the amount of damage, but yeah, if they just walk right through this, that'll be hilarious. I just realized, I think blood pack's off. Turn it back on. Yep, shitloads of damage done there. Good. Not so many kills though. Malakith an ambush. Yeah, he got pulled out of it. It's fine. The power of life is mine. Hey, what are you doing, Bulkmark? Get over there. Alright, if that one's going after Volkmar, it is not going to win. Ready for war. You know, I think the um, the Beast Wizard might be able to handle this. So yeah, if you're wondering why he's not on his uh, mobility scooter, it's because of the dark shards. They're, they shoot him really easily. He's actually better on foot here. This is way easier than dealing with Malice. Way, way, way easier. Go get rid of these missile units. Cool, there's the army losses. Oh yeah, that's so much easier than dealing with Malice. And then just uh, do a little bit of healing. So we should be able to order resolve the rest of this. Running out of time. Need those heals. We're actually in better shape at the end of the... No, we're... I was so close to full health. There we go. Think we'll ever see a wizard lord for the Empire? Yeah, I'd... I'd uh, it's possible. It's possible. 
Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe next time they get a, um, a DLC. Yeah, if they get a DLC for, like, Elspeth Von... Whatever her name is. The, the Death Wizard of Nuln. Um, yeah. Empire Death... Uh, Empire, um... Wizard Lords. Why not? That would benefit them greatly. Yeah, that'd make them really good. Cool, look at that. Yeah, we recovered in that battle. Another talisman of presence. Oh, we stole it off them as well. That's good. Ooh, income from raiding. That's such a good trait. Volkmar the Grim. Good. So uh, we can just auto this, and it wipes everyone out. <laughs> Setting forth. Orders. Oh, Rakath was there too. Cool. Sigma grant me strength. The right. Oh, we do get the vaults of Quintex. That's good, I guess. Cool. I didn't know that the Empire got it. Uh, wall it up, and because red territory, and yeah, get that. I don't need the. Uh... Yeah, keep that actually. And just got gross. Don't worry too much about money here. They will be judged. You are judged. Tools of judgment ready. Well, Tools next stop ready. is Report. Exiles of Nehek. I think um, the Dark Hill. Oh no, no, they've still got Maku Peaks. Accused. Show me the accused. Heretic? I trust no man. Die. Seek out the heretics. Praise be to Sigma. I serve Sigma. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty confident if they decide to attack us, we'll be fine. Show me the accused. Mm-hmm. Gotta be careful about them declaring war and just sailing to the moon shard. Alright, yep. Yeah, I don't have anything for them to do. Men, we must attack. Oh, but it would kill my, my dude there. I wonder why the um, Hell Blast of Oli Guns is the ones that take it. They will be judged. Okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I attack out here. Um, whether or not we'd actually land an attack, so what? since they're not recruiting, there's no real rush to do it. Step to it, moving up. Okay. I'll just check what else is out here. So just we'll definitely be able to launch the attack next turn. And um if we lightning strike it, that will kick this one out of here. So I just need to Oh, it's walled. Yeah, yeah, so walls will be easy. Really, really easy. I don't think I've ever fought a battle manually with this army. Not once. <laughs> Fine. I trust no man. Mm, should be fine. I mean, biscuit for the biscuit. Uh, there could be an army standing right there, ready to force march. Don't risk it. It's not worth it. We don't need to rush this. All right, Thorgrim's coming in. Cool. They will be judged by the silver. Keep blocking these. Seek out the heretics. Judgment is death. Praise. Show me the accused. Report. Tools of judgment. Ready. Speed. Seek out the heretics. Heretics. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Priest king of greatest dynasty. What? So yeah, in a pinch situation, if we need to force march, we can get back to either of these settlements from this position. That's why I just want to stay right here. I 
trust no man. They will be judged. Yep, all this seems fine. Nothing of any real threat out here. That's good. Alright, what else do we need to move? Uh, Gotrix move. Uh, well, it doesn't move, but who else? Mario stays put. This guy. Yep, he's in. He'll be in position to attack something next turn. Not sure what to do with this guy, just stay put. Show me the Keep an eye out over here just yes, in case for now. anything they just randomly shows up. My power. Items of power. Come. Magic untamed. So we're at 15 out of 20, if you include that one. So we just need five more beast wizards. Like that. Four. Four more beast wizards. And then we just need to get them leveled up. <laughs> and then we've got our beast wizard doom stack, which it's pretty good. I've used it before. Uh, but it can be a little bit on the squishy side. Got capacity for it for the time being. Alright, so we need to give Marcus Wolfhart his does not understand daily gift. Very well. Cool. Uh, looks like he lost a little bit of ground to um to them. But if we have a look at Marcus, yeah, I think he's building up his strength ranking, and we are giving him a lot of money. Seek up that it shall be done. Let's get on with this. I've important matters to attend to. Mm -hmm. All right, construction time. I don't think I need to do anything else for now. Just uh, try to make more money. Okay, let's go with the lowest public order region. So, oh, this province here. If we didn't check that, there was eventually going to be a revolt. That's not good. Anyway, it's not going to revolt now. Getting the extra gold's not urgent. Okay. That all seems good. Uh, checking the rogue armies. We still haven't come into contact with the Celestial Storm. They're out there somewhere. I just don't know where. Could be sitting on Ulth 1. Who knows? One thing that we could do, I guess, with the Beast Wizard Doomstack is come around here and get these sort of treasures. That way we get some money and also experience for them. Welcome, friends. What do the men of the hammer require this day? Hmm. Is it possible to get a Beast Wizard Doomstep before turn 100? Uh, it's possible. It's it's strong, but it's uh, a pain in the ass to, to make, that's all. It is very strong, once you build it up. Yeah, you can definitely get it before turn 100. I think. I didn't prioritize it in this campaign. It's just something to do while we're moving around. Alright, I don't see anything else that needs to be done. That all seems secure. Let's move on. There's nothing I forgot. Ridiculous. Do not order me. Will okay, Chaos spawn the Nagger on side? Yep, but it won't matter. It won't matter. If everything goes according to plan, it won't matter about that invasion. You'll see. 
It will probably, will possibly happen today. I don't know about probably, but we'll see. Which lord are you going for with Beast Wizard Stack? Uh, probably just a Arch Lector. That way they can provide it with the strength of the Penitent for physical resistance. And melee defense. Why Pegasus instead of Griffin for Beast Wizards? Um, I okay, so Pegasus can be obtained at rank sixteen, but you need to be rank twenty two in order to get a Griffin. So a lot of them aren't rank twenty two yet. When they get to rank twenty two, I'll give them the Griffin. How many armies do you need for the Archeon invasion? Just one. If it all goes well, just one. Yeah, that's it. Sink them high elves. I don't care. Alright, that looks good. Is Geltz going to one man the chaos? That's the plan. That's the plan. Isn't a Huntsman General good for the stealthy ground unit? Yep. Yep. You could also do that. You could also do that. But if you want to increase the stats of the... Um, of the... Uh, hero as much as possible. Uh, of the hero as much as possible. A um, Arch Lector would be best. You can put an Arch Lector on a horse and just put him in trees. Greetings from... C Can't wait for the new Chaos Tech Tree. The other one's pretty crap. Okay. Yeah, it is It is boring, but it's got some powerful upgrades in there for sure. So we'll see how the new Tech Tree goes. Alright, there we go. Snickers is dead. Good. Cool, they're taking these shitheads out. Oh, I may have forgotten to block that. Luckily they didn't do anything. <laughs> I really need to stay on top of that. They'll get wiped out eventually, but if they go over to Karakazor, I wouldn't be able to beat them. Come before me, envoys of Britain. No. Kill Plague Rat and Lustria near Hunter. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can do that. See how we don't take attrition when we're moving in here? But look, if you do it in this stance, Very well. I will do this. you can, like, just moving from here to here, you can lose your entire army. That's why you gotta move in raid stance. That way you take no attrition. Or, you know, we can go defeat Daniel and get 50% reduced chaos. Attrition. I'm, I'm joking, obviously, because you can't get him in this. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. There is power within prayer. Bathe in soul fire. Cool. They will be judged. They recruited a new lord out here, so just gotta be mindful about that. If it lands over here and goes for Bleakhold Fortress, that could be a problem. But it takes them multiple turns to get there, which gives me time to recruit loads of guns to sort it out. And then they'll only recruit basic units, I think. Alright, we've got to keep remembering to block this. I trust no man. What have you to say? Tools of judgment ready. You are judged. 
tools of judgment ready. You are judged. Oh, God damn it. Of the lady. I'm just gonna wizard. sit there. Items of power. Come. Damn it. Fucking my sack city. Can't get them leveled up if you don't. If you don't sack it. Another disciplined one. I think there's like three in a row. So that means we only need three more. So you can see how it's grayed out. I'm just not high enough level yet. Alright, 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 alright. And this... I don't know if I'll be able to auto-resolve it, but... Let's have a look. Yeah, we can actually auto resolve that. Ulrich's will ill considered. I trust And just if we're gonna auto resolve it, which is just to save time, because we'll replenish fairly quickly. Seek out the just to make sure that there's no like dark elf armies. March. Yeah, there's nothing coming. But we're good. We're in the clear. Show me the accused. To war. Because, yeah, we could lightning strike it and we get decisive victory, but then this army here just walks out that way and we don't want that. Pure victory here. He doesn't need any more experience. None of them do. That's fine. We'll recover pretty quick. Okay. Now, now there's no more black arcs, as far as I'm aware, out in this water here. So this stuff here is mostly safe. We do have the walls built here, but I don't really need to replace it with anything. Um, although I don't have the money making. Oh, I do. No, it's fine. Um, yep. 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 Cool. Cool. Bring me to my Kill Snickers for sneak trade on Lord for the Beast Wizard Army. Oh, it was too late. Um, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Um, I didn't do that. There, there must be a Lord out there that, that is a elector. Arch Lecter that um, has it. I just can't remember who. What happened to that other army around here? Did he go into ambush dance or something? Oh shit. Yeah, this settlement here is not ready to deal with a full Skaven attack. They could be gearing up to come over here. Who calls? For Sigma. God, that would have sucked if we had lost that. Because I know that there was another army here. I just don't know where it went. Bow too quick. If I got out of this war. Yes, yes. No. Show me the accused. The nation calls. Just gotta do these patrols to make sure there's no fucking minor armies coming out here to attack us. Okay, I guess we're not giving a shipment of money. Yeah, look, they've got the sword of cane there. Yep. Yeah. I trust no man. Just keeping an eye on all the stuff over here. Our neighbors in the east deign to visit. He doesn't really have anything to do apart from take out the Oak of Ages like I told him to. He's not doing it. By Sigma. Your word is my command. Alright, all their armies went over to Iron Spike. Now. Let me have a look down here. Onwards! March on the witches. Arch Lecter. Do not betray your king. Yeah, just go to Iron Spike. I might lightning strike it. By Sigma. Go. Nah. They're immortal, but we still don't want to lose them. Yeah, I just thought it went. Yeah, it's fine. I 
Okay, and... Yep, Volkmar comes down this way. This one will travel down here, and that one will travel down there. Cool. Yes, the righteous hammer. Also, I just realized that if they do land over here, we'll probably want a Witch Hunter to block them. So, send that guy back to go do that. Yes, General. Sir, step to it! Mr. Blonde did a 10 euro super chat. Hey, Legend. I see you are going strong. This is funny. Why does CA always get away from main story mechanics in Warhammer with the first DLC? Just watch Let's Play as Azel. Any thoughts? Um... The simple answer to that is business. If the Champions of Chaos played it for the Realm of Chaos Souls, um, it wouldn't sell as well. Like, anybody would be able to tell you it won't sell as well. Because the Realm of Chaos, not popular. So people people have been very... Like, go and read the comments in the, like, the, the, the Steam reviews. People hate the fucking Realms of Chaos, right? Um, they totally, they just straight up fucked up with it. Big dum dum. So, you know, they can't exactly pull the existing races out of that race, but they don't have to add new ones to it. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Alright, don't think there's anything else we need to do. Yeah, you're good. Just waiting for, um... I don't think this army here is ever gonna leave. I might just have to make the attack, but at least we can put some more Beast Wizards in here first. Yep, he's fine. Ready, speak. I trust no man. I accuse. Sigma grant me his strength. That is not my mission. Die. Realms of Chaos poo poo. Realms of Chaos is absolute garbage. But not not the map, but the mechanic itself. So without without the race for the crappy souls, maybe the uh, the Warriors of Chaos campaign will actually be fun. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Reserve judgment until we've seen it. Hi, oh, hey, true. Same as Vortex. First DLC, Way Tomb Kings, if I'm not mistaken. No, you're mistaken. The first DLC for Warhammer 2 was Queen and the Crone, and they both did the Vortex mechanic. Um, so I believe it went like this. Uh, the first DLC was Immortal Empire, sorry, Mortal Empires and Blood Pack, and that was a month after Warhammer 2 came out. And then after that was the Queen and the Crone. Which I think had the FLC character of um, Tretch Craven Tail. All three of which, all three characters, so Alariel, Crone Hellebron, and Tretch Craven Tail all fought for the Vortex. And then I believe after that was the Tomb Kings, if I recall. And then that one didn't go after. But that was a race pack, not a faction pack. Alright, well, I don't have 30 grand to give him, so I guess I'll just give him 8 grand this turn. Yes. And don't forget to assassinate. Seek out the heretics. Tools mm. of judgment ready. Could be good to just constantly block Lord Skrulk to stop him from going anywhere. Because there's an army up here. They're still at war with Itza, they might pop it down at Itza, and that could actually be a good thing. So, given the direction that it's going, if it goes over to Itza and sets up an earthquake, fine. So, yeah, I'm gonna block Skrulk. Because I've only got the one Witch Hunter here. Can get some more soon. I guess these guys here, when we're done, will go down that way. Um, yeah, let the, let the High Elves deal with this fucking mess here. And let's do some construction. City and Peaks, public order is sorting out, that's good. Give me that gold. Cool. 
Alright, I don't think there's anything... Lithanar was the first FLC for that. Tretch was the FLC for Tomb Kings. Alright, thanks. Yeah, I don't... That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and yeah, okay, a Lithanar still goes for the the, uh, the Vortex. Yeah. Yeah, I got it mixed up. Wolfheart was green on Confederation look like. Yeah, yeah, if I Confederate him now, then we'll have a new Frontier built, um, open up. That'd be a huge mistake. That's why I'm giving him loads of money. I'm not trying to Confederate him. What I'm trying to do... Why are you spending on Wolfheart as you can easily Confederate him? Okay. Gotta pay attention to the campaign, dude. Okay, so... If I Confederate Wolfheart now, all of these super hostile factions will immediately get a defeat on us. Don't forget, all the garrison gets removed when you Confederate them. If I send him money, he absolutely does build armies with it. We can finance his wars in Lustria while I'm busy elsewhere so that he can conquer all of Lustria. That way I don't risk a defeat. And then once he's done with Lustria, we can Confederate him whenever we want. You know? The idea of always confederate as early as possible is is very bad a lot of the time. It depends on what you're trying to do, but, you know, it doesn't doesn't serve us any benefit to get all of this shit territory out here. Alright, I think I've done everything that we can. Um, we blocked that one, yep. Now we just gotta wait and see how things play out. For that is all I ever want. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Didn't this campaign start as Confederate all before turn 100? Yeah, Confederate the elect accounts. He's not an elect account. We did that. We got all the Empire by turn 100. We did that. Getting Marcus Wolfheart was not part of the goal. It doesn't bother me one bit if Clan Scryer um, retakes up this way. Thought it was the race packs and the Lord packs game one race that didn't do the vortex. Okay, so only only the four base game races in the vortex participate in the vortex. They're the only ones that do, but there are some exceptions. For example, Snitch. Malice, Eltharian, Throt the Unclean. They don't participate in the Vortex. Um, but every other race that's on the Vortex had their own goals. Oh, um, uh, Nakai doesn't do the Vortex. And I don't think Oxyodal does. Yeah, Oxyodal doesn't do it. How's that bot still here? They constantly create new accounts. Their accounts get deleted, they create new accounts. There's, yeah, there's not much you can do about it. All you can do is just ignore it. I missed the super chat. Sorry. Let me have a look. Uh, Mike Friel did a $5 super chat. Just tested positive for COVID, so I'll be watching the stream all day while my immune system summons the elect accounts. Also, today's my birthday. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Happy birthday. And uh, sorry that um, you got COVID. Some people just don't think allies are helpful at all. Yeah, allies are shit. It is very difficult to get uh, Marcus Wolfheart to actually win. But giving him money helps a lot. Same thing as if I go and send a bunch of witch hunters over there, which I will eventually, to block all of his enemies so that he can just constantly make attacks and never have to worry about defense. Do heroes level a different race depending on how well they perform in battle? Is the total experience distributed between them? It's pretty much a static. If they participate in battle, it's a static amount. 
they don't even have to participate. Well, that just got blown up. Are you ready to repel Bjornling's invasion when Chaos shows up? No, because I don't know where it shows up. I don't... Mm. <laughs> I don't know where it shows up. I can summon the Elector Counts. I've got all my Regiment of Renown. Well, I should have most of my Regiment of Renown and stuff. Yeah, maybe I should get another army just sitting at Norsegard, because people did say that. Mm. Thing is, I can recruit a full army in one turn. Uh, we're getting pretty close to it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, people say that Burenlings show up over here or something. I just, I don't know. I... Last time I did the Chaos Invasion, I didn't have to deal with it. Alright. If Gelt stands right there, we're good. He's in position. He won't get the insane trait. We're ready. We are ready. See, we didn't take any attrition. Oh... Okay, hang on, you can take that out. Following Sigmar's path. Yeah, and you bloody better. Tremble before me. Should be an order resolve. Okay, we actually take less damage in non-lightning strike, but that got, dude doesn't get wiped out. Setting forth. Yeah, we're fine. Um Okay. Sigma has shown us the path. Yeah, you stay right over here just in case any of that lands. Ridiculous. They will be judged. Hunt them out. Step to it. Report. Okay, I need to block that so that it doesn't what move far when I attack it. Warrior of Sigma. See how it only moved like a tiny little bit? Because I'm hoping I can still get to Sildra Tor. Although I probably shouldn't risk it. I can't see any other, other armies over here. Judgment is death. Here to serve. Forward in his name. Good. All right, I can still get over here. But what if there's an army standing around here in ambush tents, which the chances of that happening is like basically zero, but I don't know for certain. And if I block him, he's not going anywhere. Because yeah, obviously Iron Spike can't defend itself. That's why we need um, both Volkmar and this army to come down together. Chances are there's nothing here. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I need you to clear out these damn things out here. Ready to serve. Yeah, don't risk it. It's it's Protector not doing anything. We can't progress out Step here until Volkmar shows Never back up anyway, so it's okay. Well, not shows back up, it comes over here. Um, is it possible to have the assassin here from Elithin R, Snipe, Archeon, and the others on spawn to end the invasion? Yep. Yep, you can totally do that. 
Winds of Gur! Their treasures are mine! Battle Wizard! Come forth! Alright, so we're at 17 if you include that. We only need three more. And we got another one. Two more needed. Two more. We've almost got our Beast Wizard Doom stack. Because it's 50 50 chance of getting the trait showing up. We've just been fairly lucky over the past few turns, which is nice. Calls to me. Need to increase my capacity a bit. So, Gelt's in position, ready to go. Make sure we block this. I trust no man. I will stop them. Tools of judgment ready. Yep, nothing's coming in through here. All right, a there's a bit of force here. A part of me is tempted to just let the Skaven take out the dwarfs. Because, like I said before, I'm not necessarily in a rush for this war to be over. And we're in position over here, ready to deal with anything if the worst happens. So yeah, I only block them when it suits me, which it doesn't right now. Seek out the heretics. This is all fine. Retake the realms. Seek out Just doing some heretics. patrols. Show me the accused. I trust no man. Is that where heretics lurk? Okay, this is all safe out this way. Off, they will be judged. Alright, I guess I could declare war on Kalida and grab the Fortress of Vorag. I don't have a siege attacker in this army though, but I could easily get one by just switching in out a um, general of the Empire. Um, Kalida really wouldn't be a handful to deal with. Any of our armies should be able to handle any particular Tomb King army, as long as we've got Lightning Strike. But the purpose of this would just be to keep the dwarf's busy. Let's just see how much the dwarf's actually you like Kalida first. Morta. Yeah, they like them a lot. But they don't have any treaties. Okay, another issue could arise if... The army here, where is it? Here, double backs around over here and heads over to Spike Peak before it's ready. But I could always block it if it comes up this way. There's, they don't jump in the underway, so we don't have to worry about that. Seek out the heretics. But yeah, what I want to do is just have the, all the dwarf armies push as far down south as possible. That would be, that'd be best. What would you have of me? There we go. And now the dwarfs can sort that out. Awaiting orders. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I serve the uh, Scott Macabre, 2A5, did a ten dollar super chat. Hi hey, Legend, missed a bunch of your previous streams. How did you get your Witch Hunters hundred percent success chance on Block Army? Alright, so all elect accounts have this sorry not elect accounts, Arch Lectors have this skill, which you can unlock at rank two. Hero action success chance plus 10% for warrior priests and witch hunters, all characters, which applies even when they're disbanded. So you get 10 of them, 100% success chance. Not possible. All right, how many cinemas are we up to now? 180, okay. Gotta be careful with all of this shit. Summon the elector count. Oh shit, I didn't think you'd be able to reach there in a single turn. Raise your weapons. Alright, since that's Marathi, he's already got Marathi's Come defeat trait. Hag Butcher. Um, we don't need Karl Franz to command this army. It doesn't nation. make that big of a deal at all. So, let's kick him out for Toddy. A, a legendary lord that can't die. And that way we'll always have it. 
Where is it? Fucking Toddy. I know he's in here somewhere. There he is. To strengthen the Empire. Fucking Toddy. How is critical success chance calculated? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Is it time? Report. The Empire. Shouldn't need walls down here. Um, just go with growth. Shouldn't need. Shouldn't need that. Tools of judgment ready. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it looks like the last defenders were wiped out. Let's let's see if they were. What is this foolishness? Yeah, they were. All that remains of the Lizardmen is Itza and Hexawaddle. Okay. What are your thoughts on the new Warriors of Chaos mechanics, or if I answered? Well, I, I, I don't really like to have opinions on stuff based on blogs. They, Creative Assembly will tell you how mechanics work, but oftentimes they will leave stuff out. So, I'm not going to... I'm Basically, I'm going to reserve judgment until I've actually played it, and can give you an extensive opinion. But there's nothing in there that seemed concerning. Um, Alex Sear did a ten dollar super show. Hello, sir. CA said the new IE map will be the largest ever seen in Total War game. Which Total War game had the distinction up until this point? Thanks for the quality tips and entertainment. That would have been Mortal Empires for Warhammer 2. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Is it time? What? Yeah, all well, this is fine. Didn't I have one dude up? No, he actually caught up. All right, we got to go give him that money. Yeah. Show me the accused. Yeah, we just keep blocking him. The expedition. Yeah, he is getting stronger. All right. Yeah. Finance his armies. Okay, Obsidian Peaks is fine. We can justify taxing that for the whoo, whopping amount of money. Wait, we don't get the... No, we don't get the Vol's Anvil thing. Alright, well, there goes all the money. Um, that all seems fine. Archeon can't show up for another five turns. But yeah, people are saying that the Bjornlings show up around here, and I just don't know where. Look, as long as... Like, I got walls up here. Because I can hire a lot of troops really quickly. I just I just can't remember the Bjornlings showing up here. Or over here. I just don't remember. And I don't want to have, like, 20 armies sitting here because it will make us broke. You know. I just don't remember where they show up. How are you planning to the Confederation of Marcus if his strength ranking will be close to yours? So just give him a big bribe. To save up a, uh, money for a few turns. Yeah, once it gets to like a couple hundred thousand, um, it's not so bad to confederate. Yeah, just money. Marcus isn't difficult to confederate. Yeah. Yeah, because I could put in extra defenses in these areas here, but it won't help. Then again, we did we did a no defeat campaign with the high elves, and I I don't think I ever saw them show up. 
Or do they... It's somewhere on the northern middle shore. Northern middle shore. Here? Is this northern middle? Or is this northern middle? Or is it like here? Bienling's gathering. Where the fuck is that? <laughs> There's uh, no port settlement deck. Oh, hang. There's Bersenling camp. Bersenling gathering is here. So maybe it'll show up here. They show close to Doomkeep. They don't spawn on the land, do they? North side of Norska. See, you guys are giving me conflicting information. West end of Norska inland. Are you sure about that? That didn't happen in the High Elf campaign. It absolutely did not happen. They show up on land? That didn't happen in the High Elf campaign. There hasn't been any patches since then. I don't think that happens on Legendary Difficulty. My recollection is four armies that spawn in different locations in Norska. But are you certain they show up on legendary difficulty? Because the different difficulties have different spawnings. You know, for example, on one of the lower difficulties, a chaos invasion shows up down here, but it doesn't happen on legendary difficulty. It happened in my Dark Elf campaign yesterday. Yes, but did you... Did you have... Okay, do you know what? There is one way we can test this. Um, there's one way we can test this. If I load up the old high elf save file um because it's still on my hard drive still in my game we can see if they're there because we ended the campaign the moment i took out archaeon so they, they sh if it's if you guys are correct they should be there all right well let's just get through this turn here and then i'll load up the the save file and ha i'll have a look i'll have a look and that'll tell us where they are I really don't think they spawn. I don't think they spawn either. No, very hard. See, it, there's a difference between legendary and very hard. Could it be random? It's not random. It depends on the difficulty. You know? I don't care what difficulty you're playing on. need to find out for legendary difficulty. Like I said, we'll load an old save file where it's right on the turn of the Chaos Invasion where we've got the whole map. Um... I'll have a look. That way, we'll know for certain if they're there. Search the... And the wiki says that the Bjornlings appear on the Vanaheim Mountains, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, they, they took him out. Wait. Where's Quake's army? Oh! Oh yeah, they're taking out the dwarfs. <laughs> oh yeah, they gobbled the dwarfs up. Ah! <laughs> But legend, they're your allies. Yeah. Having having my allies take a take a dirt nap is not the worst. And now we'll block them until the dwarfs want to come over here and and finish them off. Shit, that guy's making a move. You wound me. I need to keep blocking this. Because, yeah, how bullshit would it be if the Bjornlings just show up and attack a Norsecon settlement and we suffer a defeat just because I couldn't hire enough 
regiment of renown because they position themselves between four settlements. You are not welcome in my court. Nah, you're done. Bjorn Link's still present after the three Chaos bosses are defeated. Yeah, that's why I'm concerned about it, because it only wipes out the Warriors of Chaos, killing off the three Chaos bosses. The thing is, I so very rarely get to the Archaeon invasion. <laughs> I don't know where that fucking thing spawns. If I'm not mistaken, they spawn near their capital if they weren't wiped out. And somewhere in Eastern Nilsgur if they were. Well, in the campaign that I played with the High Elves, we wiped them out. So if they're around, we'll be able to spot where they be. Where they are. In the Book of Grudges now. All I did was not help the dwarves. That's all I did. I didn't I didn't cause them to lose. Not my fault they force marched right in front of a bloody Skaven army. It's not my fault. Greetings from Sigma. Mm, no, no agreements with anyone that isn't an ally. Yeah, well, it's a high off campaign, so I'll be able to see any of the sea regions. So that'll be fine. Hexavital just got wiped out. It's fine. Saves me having to deal with them. Okay. Game will save. Yep. Hang on. Let me just make sure. Yeah, this one here. Amazing armies. Okay. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Yep. Volkmar, come over to Silver Tor. Clean this up. Alright, let's go check that campaign. It might take me a couple of minutes to find it. So, I last played that around... January? Alright, let's have a look. It's in here somewhere. Alright, looking for January. So, oh god, i got to go down. Fair bit. Okay, there's Feb. Let's have a look. That's it? It was actually December. That must be it. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Okay, let's do it. So this was the last, um, you know, no defeat campaign that we did. And we ended it right on the Chaos Invasion. They showed up at turn 145, where we had Alistair the White Lion waiting for them. And he took out the entire Chaos Invasion on his own, with a War Lion Doom stack. Can you check for Sneak using Recruit Lord menu? I'm not sure. No, they do show up. But where? One army shows up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. One, one army's there. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Yeah, you're right. They do show up. Okay, so yeah. So if we have a look at this campaign, it'll say zero defeats. Yeah, zero losses. Although we, we loaded after we lost against them. Um, so yeah, there's an army here. Just searching Norska. Okay. 
That can't be the only army. There's no way. We can't negotiate with them. Search for four stacks. Yeah, but they might be in some of the fog of war. Uh, we'll check the south area here. Check corruption. Mm, they don't provide corruption. Handmaiden of Alarm. Hmm. The Sea of Badlands. Well, I had a look down here. They're not there. But yeah, they're right. They definitely. Press end turn. No, I'll suffer a defeat. <laughs> this is my no defeat campaign. <laughs> we gotta find them. Uh... God, did they just have to be hiding in the fucking fog of war somewhere? Deny. So that means we need to have an army ready at the altar of spawns. It's not like that's a super no. dangerous army for the most part. Oh, do you know what we could do? Yeah, we could do. Um, hit end turn, but then just don't fight the battle if they uh, if they do it. We'll just get a hint of where they're coming. Handmaiden of Alarm. Yeah, just get a hint for it. Stop. Hmm. Hang on, let me just make a backup save real quick. I don't want to lose the progress on this one. Yeah, we're just having a look. So, one shows up at the Altar of Spawns. Oh, Legend, it's okay, it's a defeat! Alright, so one shows up at the Altar of Spawns. One shows up at Serpent Jetty. Can't reach there, so you get time with that one. One shows up at Varg Camp. Alright. And that's apparently it. Alright. There could be more, we just can't see them. So we need we need an army at the Altar of Spawns. We need an army at Varg Camp, and we also need an army at Serpent Jetty. We need three fucking stacks ready. Alright, we'll have another look, see what else they've got coming in. A strong leader. Ricky says four. Well, I'm only counting three at the moment. There could be another one. They just created a new army there. You can abandon those settlements when Chaos shows up. Yeah, but we should just do it, deal with them. We're going to have to deal with them anyway. There's one in the fog of war. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out where it is. So we got this one here. One, two, three. If there is another one, I don't see where it is. Because, yeah, based on that amount of strength ranking, it does look like about four armies. So, have another look again. They have multiple spawns points, if which change every campaign. Really? So annoying. Check Badlands again. Uh, 
No, nothing in Badlands. As far as I can tell, there's just the three armies. Yeah, but what if they have random spawn points? That's fucked. <laughs> the only safe way to deal with it is to just abandon all of Norska. Uh. Dude, there are four on screen? Yeah, but that one was created as soon as they got there. You can put Witch Hunters all over Norska to block Norskan army. Mm, yeah, I might need to do that. I'll, I'll probably gonna need to do that. Put Witch Hunters fucking everywhere. Like, near every fucking city. Block, just block everything. And that way, whenever they spawn up, we can immediately get rid of them. Alright. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get Witch Hunters to block them. But I'm glad you guys told me about that, because otherwise, uh, yeah, that would have fucked me. I'm just going to put the uh, high off safe far back where it was. Legend, you said it's not random. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I never fight this chaos invasion. All right, so yeah, we need to prepare for this. So, altar of spawns, huh? So yeah, we need we're gonna need a witch hunter near every single Norskan settlement, which means we're gonna need a few archlectors. Every single. Well, okay, we can send some of these back for one thing. So you go back to Bjornling's gathering. Seek out the so I don't, I don't need the witch hunters here. Because I can only recruit so many every turn. Uh, probably won't show up in this province. Alright, we need Altar of Spawns. Yep. I will recruit an army here as well. Oh, in one some area. So yeah, let's just get... It doesn't matter what level they are. Ready. Okay, so one showed up over there. Um, one showed up over here, but it didn't make it over here in a single turn. And then another one showed up over at Serpent Jetty, but again, it didn't make it there in a single turn. See, I can only recruit so many every turn. How many turns till invasion? Minimum, sorry, max, sorry, minimum of four turns. So we've got four turns to see what we can do. Um, if I have any... Leftover witch hunters in here that I just forgot about. Cause yeah, yeah. Like I can raise an army really, really quickly. But yeah, the garrisons are shit. Or at the very least, if it's going to get um, attacked, we should uh, blow them up. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Show me the accused. Report. Okay, so these guys here are next on my shit list. This will get rid of um, them. Yeah, the chaos invasion will probably happen today. Not guaranteed, but it's it's likely it'll happen today. It's not guaranteed. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, now, with Volkmar, it might be best to invade via the sea. Out this way. Because, yeah, Skeggy's next. Onwards! They will be judged! Sigma grant me strength. You stay there. Because of oh, the uncertainty, numbers will go up again. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
At least I don't know in all of Norska. Time for Witch Hunter sit in Norska all day. Yeah, yeah. I trust no okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some guys out over here. Tools of judgment ready. Well, it's not gonna happen in this next turn. But yeah, we'll need a Witch Hunter near every single city. Every single one of them. At least one. All right, let's just keep moving on. Request is doom. Things of Sigma are upon you. Mm -hmm. Sigma. Oh, that's right. They will be judged. Thought you can sneak away. Speak. I don't friggin' think so. Seek out fire, silver hammer. What does the Emperor bid? I trust no man. Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. Alright, well, I don't think Marius Litov could handle this out on the field. He can definitely handle Crooked Fang Fort on his own. That's no problem. Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. Oof. I gotta get this area properly walled up. I trust no man. They will be judged. What have you to say? I refuse. For Sigma! The Empire. Yeah, bloody chaos, corruption. Which we're getting rid of quite quickly, so I wouldn't worry about taking a little bit of attrition, considering what they've got versus what we've we've got. They're only going to recruit dread spears. Oh no, they'll, they'll get some dark shards. That's okay. Is this the end of them? Yeah, it's pretty much the end of them. We're just about wiped out the dark elves. Well, hang on, the um, these ones are still here. Keep blocking this. I will stop them. But yeah, just to show you guys really quickly how quickly we can adjust to a situation. We have a lot of global recruit slots available, which so if I want to recruit a full stack, how long would it take? If I just just go full guns, where is it? Yeah, look at that. I've got 20 global recruit slots. Full stack straight away. I think the maximum you can get is 30. So yeah, maybe in turn... Maybe next turn, I'll start recruiting some guns over there. I want you to head over this way. Them out. Tools Same of with you. Ready. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Once we take Ziggurat of Dawn, we can go and grab that, I suppose. Get Marius. Yeah, that is that is not an easy army for this one here to deal with. Yes, my lord. So just keep that perpetually blocked. I trust no man. I trust no man. Mm-hmm. Godric must be so bored. Yeah, well. I just don't need him. He's not a good commander. I don't need him. Can't you see how many of a certain recruitment buildings you have without manually counting them? Uh, it doesn't tell you how many. Or 
Also, we need to make sure that we give Marcus Wolfhart money. Approach and state your affairs. Okay. Because yeah, if he's recruited a bunch of armies, and then he runs out of um, money, he will just disband them, and that'll all be for nothing. Use Gotrick in defense in Norska. Mm. I guess he would uh, reduce the supply lines, or just not increase it. Yeah. All right. Let's let's get him over here. He won't make it there in time. I can't disband him. If you have a look, I can't kick him out. Hmm. Did you uh, did you move your Armenia Fortress of Orag? Uh let me have a look. I did, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we can yeah, we can do this this turn. Alright, thanks for the reminder, dude. Alright, rather than switch out the Lord, I'll just damage walls. Hang on, let me see if the other one can reach it. No. Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. What? Open gates. Your word is <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be fine. Praise be to Sigma. Be pretty funny if there was a freaking Kalita army right there. <laughs> oh, look, I've got a no I got a fire wizard here. I will burn the shit out of them if I have to. Yes. Uh, looking at the fortress of Vorag, though. Ready to serve. Yeah, get the defenses built up. <coughs> Darkhold safe. Okay, what are we doing next? Maris has moved. Well, actually, no, he doesn't has moved, but he's not going anywhere. Yep, you stay put. Balthazar, go. You got to stay there for the next four or five turns, ten turns. Who knows? Over here, we got this Battle to do. All right, we've almost got the Beast Wizard's dim, dim stack going. Okay, we didn't get uh, disciplined there. It's okay. Nobody else got it either. Who seeks my power? So if we have a look at it, because they're all disciplined, uh, that's pretty good melee attack for a wizard. But yeah, it doesn't look like um, this one here is going to do anything. So once we've got it to full, which we need two more wizards, I'll just occupy that and we'll go and search other things for it to do. Alright. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. I, did I block this dude? I think not. Nope. We should probably make sure I we do that. No speak. But they spawn near the water. And we already tested it out. They don't spawn on the water. Because, yeah, I can hire essentially two full stacks in an emergency using Summon the Elect account and Regiment of Renown. But... We also got to know where they are. Sometimes they'll just be hidden in the fog of war. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can. Yeah, that uh, Bjornling stuff, that really would have caught me off guard. Do you wish uh, Tech Trees had long-term progressions like Hearts of Iron 4 for long games? Yeah, they really should do something like an unlimited tech that uh, that you can sync your technology into after um, after you've done with all the techs. That would be good. 
As I've said before, CA don't really put much attention into late game campaigns. Won't the Wood Elves attack you when Chaos Invasion begins? Maybe. Maybe. Critical failure. Ah, oh, he's heading towards Bitterstone Mine. May have to stop that army. Why are you raiding the spot for the Warriors of Chaos? Uh, that's where Archaon's gonna show up. We're getting ready for that. If I'm in raid stance, I don't take attrition. Why not go into encamp stance? You can't move while being in encamp stance. You can attack while in raid stance. That way, if you go into encamp stance and then they show up and then you come out of encamp stance and then attack, you'll lose about 10% of your health. Um, just making the attack. And since we need to make three attacks, uh, it's much better to fight in raid stance. Much, much better. I've done this before. Alright, Cleet already had it, her turn, so we're good here. I'm really curious to see what Endgame Crisis looks like. Um, I have no idea, but if I were to guess, it'll be just like army spams. You know, a location, like let's just say maybe a greenskin invasion, maybe it'll be in the Badlands, and like 20 armies of the exact same armies will just spawn clones, and it's it's like the Chaos Invasion, except diff like different races, you know. Maybe they'll have Tomb Kings pouring out of the the, uh, the Black Pyramid of Nagash, or maybe they'll have fucking Dwarfs coming out of Karaza Karak, or maybe they'll have Dark Elves coming out of Nagarond, who knows. Victor Ostrin did a 15 shekel Super Jet Hellage and appreciate you streaming. Would you put a Life Fire Wizard in the Beast Wizard Dim Stack? I've got a Life Wizard in there, yeah. Um, don't need a Fire Wizard. Hear your petition, but make no promise. Mm. See, if I accept that, then they could just get the jump on us again later down the track. At least while I'm at war with them, I can I know that they're my enemy. So I don't think it serves my purpose to peace out with them at this stage. At least I know he wants peace. Hopefully there's more Chaos Rifts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> turn 150. Chaos Rifts just open up everywhere. It's called Surprise! Realm of Chaos is actually in Immortal Empires. Or like the Huns invade from Total War Attila. Will be judged. Hunt them out. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Show me the accused heretics. How dare you? All we got to do is wait now. Wizard. 
Alright, maybe you should come down over here just in case they jump over. Also, I've been meaning to wall this up. If they ever jump over, we can um, summon the elect accounts. If they ever jump over. That's why I want to get um, thingy down here. Tools of judgment ready. Pick up sweet. the pace. The nation calls. Show me the accused. Now. I trust no man. Might also help to put warrior priests out here. What do you just to scout the area ahead of the, uh, the witch hunters. Because I don't want to use up one way. Oh shit, I need to... Get another arch lector. I serve Sigma. Who calls? Oh, man. To think that they could possibly show up anywhere out here. Like, the safest option would be to just abandon everything here. That would be the safest option. But a lot of those settlements are quite well developed. I just don't think I can get enough, um, witch hunters. Because I can only recruit one per turn now. They will be I just have no idea. Wood Elf Invasion at turn 150? Yeah, I know. I know. Warrior of I know. Yeah, we got some tough stuff coming up, I know. I am aware. Alright, you land here and block this army. Okay. Uh, Volkmar might actually be able to land here this turn, which would be good. Seems unlikely, actually. Yeah, because I've already put that one there. Um... Slaughter the sheep. It's usually best to attack from Skeggy. The nation calls. Pick up the pace. Step to it. How should we proceed? Seek out the heretics. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Yeah, we can just see what happens. I mean, they've mostly just got um, Marauder champions. Defender of the faith. Yeah, I couldn't get there. Sigma, but at least while I'm here, he can't sail out this way. Arch Lector. They will be judged. Is that where heretics lurk? And if that's already Nothing. all that they've got, that's I not a big deal. Speak. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Do you think it's likely that you'll ever reach a higher playtime in Women 3 than Women 2? Seems unlikely. Purge the seems, it seems unlikely. There is power Healing. I trust no man. Die. Oh, and there's another one there. No. Elden Hap. Bogus, cool, whatever. Alright. Alright, alright. I, I think our invasion here seems like it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, I really need you to clear out that if you wouldn't mind. Devotee of the League. Okay, looking over here, what showed up this turn? Confident again. Let's see, did Discipline show up anywhere else? Nope. Okay. Well, just recruit and disband that. If we the wiki says Bjorn Link should spawn at Vanaheim Mountains. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Lee, we, Lee, we did a five pound super chat. Hey, Legend, do you ever vocalize your thought process in everyday life because of how much you do it while streaming? Not really. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Alright, make sure these here get blocked. Show me the accused. Heretic. Tools of judgment ready. What have you to say? No. Hmm. May have to recruit an army here to deal with this. It is time. Moving off. All right. Since they can't jump on the underway, Bye. it's fine if we um, you know, just just cautiously make our way up to um, Nagashasa. It's quite possible that um, the dwarfs will just get there first. What does the emperor bid? All right. This will be the effective end of the cult of pleasure, I suppose. Fight for our nation. No man. Report. Yes. All right. I'm really surprised these guys have survived so long. Since they like us, it seems unlikely they'll declare war on us. But we should probably set a witch hunter there eventually, just to um Speak. to stop them. I just need scouts along this pass here. Plenty of scouts here. Seek out the Check out this way. All good. Uh, having a look at Clan Moors, how much do they have left? They've got four settlements. I just need to know where they are, though. So, here, here. Alright, and then along this way. Okay. Right. All good. Alright, who else do we need to move? Gotrick is making his way up here, but he's... He's going to get there way too late to see any action. Uh, Marius is being chill. Like I said, I could send him to, to, send him to Crooked, Crooked Frankfort, but ugh, this, this army is here to defend, not to attack. Yep, that's fine. Just keep that still. Yep, Gelt just needs to wait for the invasion. Okay, cool. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Looking at Marcus Wolfhart, how's he been doing? They will be judged. Well, he's not losing any ground. The expedition. But he's definitely getting stronger. The Emperor's expedition. Keep those payments coming. Agreed. <laughs> no. I hope it actually makes a difference. The Keep Empire. blocking Skrog so that way he's not bothering it. Uh, Carter Rodriguez did a five dollar super chat. What's your favorite not what the devs intended campaign plan? I.e. abandoning Lustria with Wolfheart right away. Love the content as always. Good luck, have fun. Um, probably abandoning here as um, Lockyer Fellhart and going straight to the donut. It's probably my favorite one. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. All right, now let's build. Starting with the regions that have the worst public order. That's all fine. Yep. Uh, 
we should be okay to tax this if we build public hang on yeah it'll be fine when that gets to minus 75 it'll it'll stop so let's get the money out of it it'll be fine and that's going to provide one public order anyway yeah yeah it'll be fine All right, I think that's me done for the turn. Yeah, I really should be upgrading Hag Grief because there's um, wealthy buildings in there. Expedition welcomes you, comrade. Okay. Moving on. So, the Empire. They will be judged. My damn hero. Does anyone know what happens if Gotrick is wounded in a situation we have him forever? Uh, he just gets wounded and comes back five turns later. Chaos yet? Not yet. It's coming. A couple more turns. Oh, damn. Ikaclaw's welcoming them to Astalia. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I don't really care. Not me that's losing the battles. Alright, that's a little concern, although the dwarves are on their way. How come you don't turn on faster camera on enemy turns? Because I need to see what's going on. You know, I'm paying attention to every little move that's going on. Good. Another pirate gone. What if you take the Quake settlement and let the attrition take him? Uh, it's not his last settlement, so he won't get attrition. Really not concerned about those ogres right now. Alright. Volkmar will be able to hit there. Make sure this guy here doesn't run off and get to the moon shard. Show me the accused. Block these two armies down Report. here. Tools of judgment ready. What? Yep. Speak. Seek out the heretics. 
the instrument of Sigmar's will. It's tempting to go and grab that money, but if I go and do that, then I probably won't have enough movement to hit Ziggurat of Dawn, and that is just not needed right now. See, so yeah, our armies are strong enough that we can take on pretty much anything, but the problem is, is that they might go after a settlement that's undefended. Which is the whole problem with the Burenlings. Can't wall these settlements up out here. Turn 139. The Chaos Invasion could happen in two turns now. I have no idea where all the other spawn points are. No fucking idea. Um, people were saying that they spawn near here, so we should um, be ready there. I want this one over here, just ready to like scout in this area. Keep this area here uh, clear of vision, so I can see. Why can't they be walled? They're Norsecan settlements. You can't wall them. Do not waste my attention. Born to die. It is time. All right, and I need the. Retake the realm. Yep. If you want to take that Thorgrim, you go right ahead. What have you to say? No. Good, just keep that one getting blocked. The nation called you are judged. I trust no man. You are judged. Defeating Marathi a few times has really helped here. Speak. So show me the accused. Die. Cool. Blocked and blocked. Nice. Well, when the dwarves are ready to go over there and take it, it's fine. Um, they've moved far enough away that I think Marius Lee Dwarf can justify coming over here. Yeah, but just move in in camp stance. There's no rush at all. What does the Emperor bid? No rush at all. Of judgment ready. March on the witches. Check where the basement spawned. The spawned here. I am Iron Fist. Some kill me. A I am Iron Fist. Some. The shadow girl. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, at least we can keep track of them through Chaos Corruption. Yeah, well. Another curveball. Did Greasus get a massive buff? He starts off with 708 strength now. I don't think his, um, like, damage output was ever a problem. Problem's his speed. Big fat, so he doesn't, doesn't uh, keep up with the other ogres. I really want to finish off them, but this here is just so much of a threat. For the Emperor. To battle for Sigma. Ooh. <laughs> it's fine. I had to order a resolver to make sure they all got wiped out, though. They'll recover. They'll recover. And if they get attacked, you know, just fight the battle manually. It's no big deal. Cleanse the Empire. Sigma heals us. The Empire. Forward. 
Alright, so Volkma will have it head over to Skeggy and then that'll just be that. Good. Good. Alright, who else needs to move? God, there's so many things that can go wrong at this point. Tiny little slip up, it's all fucking over. I think we should keep an eye on them. Yeah. Yes. Sigma compels us. What's the best Empire Army to field? So there's no such thing as a best Empire Army to field. You build what you need. Making a bet on what turn they'll show up. The earliest they can show up is turn 141. So 5% chance of that happening. And then it's 5% increasing from then on. Alright, we can just um, move normally through that. It's fine. Because if we get attacked, we can, we'll be able to withdraw. That's not a problem. Keep an eye out over here, just in case. No one's coming in through there. So yeah, turn 139, and we've got 188 settlements, you know, for the type of campaign we're doing. I think that's okay. Hmm, just lost a settlement there. Come on, Marcus, lift up your fucking game. I'm giving you all this money, but I'm not seeing you gaining ground. Seek out the heretics. Given him hundreds of thousands at this point. His army ranking is going up. Yes. Do you ever use Luminarchs? Not really. Like, Luminarchs are fine, I just don't prefer them. Uh, no disciplined one this turn. Oh well, it happens. There wasn't one in any other uh, school of magic, was there? No. Shit. Um. We've only got three turns until we starve it out. I could just just occupy it. It's just wasting time. At least this way, we can start making a little bit more money out of the settlement. Bastone's gone. Because, yeah, they were just not going to leave it be. They are never going to give it up. True servant of Sigma. Hopefully now they'll go into Atheloran and you know, find something to do. Alright, alright, alright. So, what are we doing next? Balthazar, yep, yep, stays put. Oh, he's very getting tired. Give him one more, then cut Wolfheart off. He's getting around. Uh, well, I've got plenty of money. Money's not a problem. And all this construction that we're doing is all in bloody red territory anyway. He could just be fighting a lot of armies. Don't know. He is getting stronger in terms of the strength ranking, so something's going right. I forgot to block something I needed to block. That's that's not urgent. This army over here, we need to make sure it's blocked. By the comet. Yep. Show me the accused. I will stop them. 
keep an eye on Skaven. Cool. Don't want any surprises there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh god, this this is so fucking annoying. Tools of judgment ready. Probably need one around over here. We just need line of sight over all of Norska. Yeah, you can move we here. I don't want line of sight there. They will be judged. Show me the accused. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, try to try to get all of this like fog of war stuff. So it just so that something is visible. Because I can't deal with stuff I can't see. Alright, I think that's all the movements done for this turn. And, yeah, we'll be heading over here. I don't really need to block it. Instead, just have a look ahead and see what's going on. Okay, that's owned by TOT code, that's fine. Come down here and scout here, just in case Skaven come up this way. Seek out the heretics. Okay. Okay, moving on. I think we got all of our bases covered. I think. All right, there's shit happening over here. Marathi spawned. Um, I will hear your words, but I make no promises. Of yeah, I need you to fucking get rid of that. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, okay, look, we've got two witch hunters here. If they land both armies, I can block them and easily recruit enough troops to deal with it. Volkmar's not too far away. We could bring him up this way if I absolutely need to. But yeah, if we just leave them here, this could be a problem. And malice is here as well. Can we get out of no. Okay, moving on. Did Chaos invade yet? Nope. We're a couple of turns before it is possible for them to invade. did block it, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, build the walls up there before um, he gets there. I'm going to have to raise an army to deal with him. Children of the Old One spawn, so yeah, he's definitely fighting. Oh, that must have been what blew up that settlement. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Even AI... Uh, Marcus Wolf out has to deal with that goddamn garbage mechanic. Greetings, fellow heirs of Sigma. All right, I'll accept this. Oh yeah, look, you're right. Children of the own old ones. All right, I'll I'll accept this. This will give us line of sight. I don't think it'll weaken him too much, but we can get an idea of what's going on and maybe tell him what to do. Corrine's got nothing to do, perhaps their armies will fight Chaos. Warriors of Chaos are going to disappear in one turn as soon as they show up. That's not the problem. The problem is the Bjornlings. Alright, so... It's a bloody free-for-all over in Itza. Yeah, he's got shitloads of armies. 
Hey Legend, does Exiles of Nehex sound like a good next faction to go with streaming? Uh, I'm not going to do that. So, no. Cool. That's fine by me. How many battles have I fought manually today? No, no super dangerous ones. That's the thing, uh, a lot of this is strategic maneuvering. I'm trying to prevent myself from taking a defeat. Do you know what I reckon will bloody happen? I'll have witch hunters just about everywhere, but an army will spawn in a fog of war zone that I won't have any intel on and make an attack straight away and I won't see it coming. <laughs> and then, that's it, campaign over. Fucking Bjornling spawning. Oh, excuse me, god damn. Tired. Roger Rabbit did a final super chat. Doing everything you can to avoid taking a D, especially one you didn't see coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. You know, when people said they, you know, spawn randomly, that's a, that's a big concern. If you lose the campaign, we sign you on right away, or sign you on tomorrow? Uh, I'm not going to sign you on today, no. These armies are getting bigger and kind of nasty. Who calls? Well, she'll start taking attrition as soon as um, she loses this settlement here. Just gotta fucking get at it. Seek out the heretics. Onwards. Fool. Path coming in from here. All right, at least this will be the end of the northern parts of Skeggy. Why don't you abandon the Norska and consolidate regions by the shore? Uh, because I want to see if I can hold it. Because you're right, that would be easier for sure. But I want to see if I can do it. Because like I've actually been spending a lot of money developing some of these regions. Like, it would take forever to grow this stuff back up again, just to abandon it. Just such a waste. You know, I do have pretty good, um, Witch Hunter coverage. Pretty good. They will be judged. March on the wicked. Forward. 
Probably need somebody over here. To Sigma, the nation calls. Show me the accused. Forward, the nation calls. I think there's a chance that next turn the Chaos Invasion will show up. Yes. Son of Sigma. They will be judged. Yeah, spawn point happens there. We're ready to go here. Got trick. Where Keep moving. It's only five percent chance, but still, uh, not as ready as they could be. Now. Is that where heretics lurk? By the comet. I forbid this. What? Praise be to Sigma. Hey, what was that army? Yeah, our army of guns should be able to beat the shit out of that. So if they decide to attack us, shouldn't be a problem. But why don't we just stand here and ambush dance? See if we can get them, because that'd be even easier. Keep checking up here. Yeah, it's all clear. And... I trust no man. I think the army is still there. On march. Praise Sigma. So, march on the witches. Break. Cool. Another settlement. Have Gotrek get reworked in Women's Throw? Yeah, you could definitely use a little bit of a tweak. It was a bit bland. Alright, there's definitely something going on over here. Guess we just have to wait and see um, who comes out on top there. Alright, we got turn 140. We got 191 settlements. Alright, I think we've just passed the halfway point in terms of number of settlements. So that's the nation good, calls. I guess. Alright, if I take Swamp Town, then nobody can get Reaver Town. Show me the accused. Pick up the pace. No one's in range. Ever vigilant. How many factions left? Alright, let's have a look. There are. 39 other factions, according to this. 39 other factions. Alright, there's no way that this army here can make it all the way to here in a single turn. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, Heretic! Forward! Yes, General. Yes, Graf. Blessings of Sigma upon you. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, Magic high elves, come and forth. take these fuckers out over here. Useless allies. You I'd love it if he comes in through here and goes and takes the Oak of Ages. That'd be great. Keep blocking that. Report. Good. Does YouTube calculate wi watch duration on based on user profile or port of device? Uh, I think so, but <laughs> I don't have the exact details with all that stuff. Um, yeah, we got to block that. Right, we need to recruit an army over here. Alright, get a new Arch Lector. Alright, what have they got? Okay, that's a big fucking problem. Big, big problem, that unit. But that really is the only problem. Everything else should be taken out pretty quickly. Um, guns is all we need. Yep. Don't think we'll need lightning strike.
should be all we need to take him out there. Because he's not at full strength anyway. We might even be able to auto-resolve it. Seek out the heavens. By the silver hammer. Okay, and we can reach Crooked Vang Fort, which this army is pretty good in auto resolve. We should just be able to auto it. Yeah, I'm not expecting any sort of counter attacks. I've been keeping a very close eye on what they've got. Damage isn't that bad anyway. What's Marathi's defeat trait? It gives um, a faction wide buff to agent action success cost. No, not success cost. Agent action cost globally reduced by 10%. So if you get it 10 times, makes all your agent actions free. Cool. Alright, how are we going over here, Marcus? Why are you... Ooh. Oh, you've put yourself in a shit position here, right? Because, like, this one might come over here and uh, ambush you. But don't worry, I got you, boy. What have you to say? Lucky I was here, because uh, their turn comes first. I come over here, ambush you. But now you get the chance to launch the attack, I hope. Of course, Skrulk might come down this way. I can only block one of them at a time, but I'll give him the best chance he can. I can't be everywhere at once. Um, did you manage to get rid of the... Yeah, they did. Now is maybe not the time to be giving him gifts. I think we need to be ready for... Um, a lot of shit to come through this way. We need to be ready. So I'll hold off on the payments for a short while. I can't get any more. Oh, I can get. I can get another one of these. This is just for scouting, but it might be a good idea just to put a lord down somewhere, even if we don't put any troops into it, just so that I can use it for scouting. Because I can. I can summon something like three full stacks immediately if I absolutely need it. Um, Areas where I I don't have any intel over here. They will be judged. Yeah, we just need we need some scouts basically. At least until some more witch hunters show up. So you stay here. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna cost a few uh, supply buckaroonies. Uh, put another one here. Just existing ones will do. Don't need new ones. Like I said, it's gonna be. Be a bit expensive. Check one out over here. I need to check that area. Alright. If any army spawned here... Um, actually, I'll put another one here. Oh, I already recruited an army here. In this province. If any army spawned here, I would have plenty of time to deal with it. I think that's where it does spawn. Um, there could be one there. Rip my money. And? and it might be a good idea to not spend any of this cash on buildings that don't matter because the Chaos Invasion could happen any turn now. What happens if Legend, Legend never loses campaign? Well, eventually we'll conquer the entire map. Eventually. Like, we're already... We're halfway done and we can confederate Marcus Wolfheart. Um, they'll... We're doing a lot of preparation because the Chaos Invasion is a, is a bit of an iffy thing to deal with. But once it's over, um, well, we'll see. We will see. Um, is there anything else that I need to do? I think we're all pretty good out here. So, yeah, no more construction for the time being. It's not exactly getting a great return on my investment there. So, this army here will just next turn... Take that out. If if he he'll probably move to about here, at which point we should even be able to auto resolve it. Um, and then that guy will have the defeat trait from Snitch, which we can give it into the Beast Wizard Doomstack. Speaking of which, the Beast Wizard Doomstack. Futile. Something we could do with it is starting to start to get them to lure out a little bit. True servant of Sigma. You haven't met Argrelon yet, have you? How fares the Emperor in no. these dark times? Let me have a look. By my lady. I don't do it. No. Okay. Um, I, I gotta do something with it. But uh, what? 
There's nowhere for it to go. Could take out... Oh, yeah, I was going to go take out this stuff, wasn't I? Any disciplined... No, not this turn. We've got enough capacity for it now. Just need the disciplined trait to show up. Alright. I got military access to all of this. Let's just uh, make our way over here and grab some money. Anything to get these guys leveled up. I blocked this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. And... Are the High Elves the biggest threat left after this invasion? Let's have a look. Well, the High Elves won't declare war on me if they like me. That just won't happen. So they're not really a threat because they can be managed. Um, High Elves are very sort of predictable in what they do. If they hate you, they'll always declare war on you. If they like you, they'll always remain friendly to you. Whereas the other factions are far less reliable. The only thing that the High Elves could do is declare war on somebody like Bretonia or Bordelow or something. Somebody that they hate, that we're allied with. Uh, which is why I've only got a defensive alliance with Etain. That way he can't drag me into any wars. Um, with him as the attacker that I have to defend him with. Um, if anything, we should get him to join some more wars. Choose your words carefully. Um, none of these really matter. No, he won't do it. I don't know why he doesn't go and finish off the um, the dread fleet. Can easily do it. Bring fire and terror. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, I think I've done everything I can for this turn. Um, it is possible for the chaos invasion to happen this turn. It is possible. So, hang on. I think I can get another warrior priest here. Just, I just need scouts. I need to know if an inv if an attack is going to happen. I just need to know. Because yeah, in terms of emergencies, all of the regiment of renown's available. All of the Elector Count State Troops are available. I got some Ogres, and I got this available. So I got two sets of um, Imperial Elector State Troops. So I could raise three full stacks like that, but I need to know where they're going to attack. You know, there's no point me putting three full stacks over here, and then it spawns right there and attacks. I can't do anything about it. So we just need to know where every piece of Fog of War is... And then we should be fine. Servant of the faith. Okay. The, the chances of the next turn being the Chaos Invasion is pretty low. Hang on, I know where that um, commandment needs to go. Uh, Uke Rocket did a five dollar super chat. Is there a max number of lords you can recruit into your pool? Vortex versus ME. Thanks, love your channel, bud. Um, there's no limit, and Mortal Empires over Vortex. Thanks for super chat. Tools of judgment ready. The Empire. Yeah, you got blocked, right? Yeah. No, I blame you. You. All right, here we go. Just in case they jump over. Not that that would do much. But if they jump over, we can hire emergency units. Alright. Here we go. Now we find out. Check basement. Oh, yeah. Um, I should have done that. That's less of a concern. Alright. We need to keep an eye on every single faction. Alright, this is good. If they can come in here and sort that out, that means I won't have to spend money to do it. Ah, oh, fucking... Wounding my witch hunters, because they got a really high level um, character there. Oh, no! 
Wounding on my good witch hunters. Like, they'll come back, but... I'm running out over here. I'm going to need another army at Morgheim. It's is gone. Oh, it's a shame. Confederate Wolfheart yet? Confederating Wolfheart will be the last thing that we do in this campaign, so don't bother asking about it. I'd be totally fine if they captured um, Desolation of Gash. Well, that is all I ever want. No. Yeah, Skrok made a jump over here, but he jumped behind them. Come on, do it. Win. You can do it. You can do it. They're on Force March. You can do it. Look at these great swords. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fucking suck. God, tell me, tell me, oh god. <laughs> He's, fucking... He's gonna ambush both of you next turn. Oh god. Why did you let Ikit let Ikit live? I just got other things to do. He's just not that important to me right now. Oh, hang on. You can do it. Oh, what the f. I didn't get any good victories. Oh, you got a victory over, um, Blessed Dread, at least. Well, Marcus Wolfhart's not playing a no defeat campaign, that's for sure. Can't send him any money for a little while. He's just gonna have to deal with it. It'd be so unlucky if uh, this turn is the Chaos Invasion. Right, before we forget, I need to f uh, keep an eye on the... Um Beastmen. So if we have a look over... Okay, there they are. Alright. Oh, go on. 
I don't have walls though. For the I am Iron Fist. Some call me a king. Alright, they could very much launch an attack on Waldenhof over the end turn. Um, I don't have a witch hunter here to block it. But hey, we didn't uh, we didn't have a revolt, uh, a chaos invasion. Didn't happen this turn. Ten percent chance next turn. All right, so um, I'm going to need to make sure that this army here can't beat me. So we need to put Carl Franz in here. Bring me to my men. And we're also going to need to put Regiment of Renown. And I'm going to need that witch hunter here. And emperor. Ready. Because we need to get rid of this. So we've got seven units in Waldenhof. Yeah, we've got seven units in Walden. Uh, so essentially eight units in Waldenhof. Alright, we can see what they've got. Most of it is trash. Now... Carl Franz can take on a lot on his on his own. Minotaurs are a little bit of a problem. Um, we need enough force that it. So, let me see if I can get a battle wizard. Nah. The nation calls. Let me be high enough rank. Oh, I don't have anyone nearby here to give support. The Empire. Because yeah, these fuckers will declare war on us if we're not careful. What unit, like what, what one could we get that's going to provide a shitload of value at a, okay. Ready. So see some, oh, that one there provides a lot of value, but the problem with that is that you got to detect what they're doing. Summon the elector counts. This is, this is on the hypothetical that they attack over the end turn. I don't want to hire too much because I need it for the other things. Um, I definitely would like the Sunmaker against... Oh, that's... The Black Lion's good. So, speed is 50. What do they have that can... Ca yeah, they've they got a few things that can catch it. Not much. Alright, get the Black Lions. What else? Yeah, if we used speedy troops, we could overcome immense odds with a small army. Hmm. Now. Yeah, I'll get a few gun troops. Actually, no, considering what they've got, we don't need guns, we need crossbows, because they're just lightly armored and we need the extra range. So crossbows would be ideal here. Don't worry about huntsmen. Because they take two turns to recruit. Uh, actually, can I locally recruit? I can, yeah. I am Prince and Emperor. And then we just need to put enough troops in here to ensure they just don't declare war on us on the end turn. So... Yeah, Hammer of the Witches, that'll help. Yeah, those are good, but... Oh, look, that one's got Stalk. Yeah, I see. Um... Some of these heavy cavalry can actually be quite handy. Alright, there we go. It seems unlikely that they'll launch the attack. Now. So that seems unlikely. But yeah, that's annoying. It's just, I gotta be... Oh my god, look at that cost. Just gotta deal with it. And I can't get a Witch Hunter over here now because I just recruited it. Um. Plan scheme is discordant. Nah, I won't take much attrition. It'll be fine. Moving out. That can't reach me. Son of a bitch. I serve Sigma. By Sigma. Oh, these guys here, they don't have any territory, do they? 
Ready. Warrior of Sigma. I've really got to get rid of this settlement here. There's no armies out this way. Well, there better not be. Um, one way we can check. Send him to go and look over here. All right, there's no armies out that way. You come over to here to get ready to attack at Maku Peaks. Block that so it doesn't go anywhere. And then we need to get rid of some of these fucking heroes. The Empire. I accuse. Direct me. And what are we doing with Volkmar? Uh, I don't know. Um, Icor93 did a two-year super chat. Just tuned in. Who is the campaign going? Um, it's it's going well. I get what you were trying to say. Uh, it's going. I think it's going well. Yeah, no defeats so far, but uh, you know, it's getting harder and harder to ensure that we don't take a defeat. What? Yes. Praise be to Sigma. I think it's whatever he ends up recruiting over the intern, he can make his way to the Fallen Gate. And if this gets assassinated, then I'm fucked. So I have to make sure that he can't possibly do that. But in addition to that, uh, no, these guys here, I don't think they've got enough movement. Oh, they do. Okay. Get rid of some of these shit stains here because they've Righteous good 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 get rid of those heroes show me the accused the instrument of sigmar's will what do you require who calls Skrulk is going to attack this and fucking ambush him. They will be judged. I can't get so. this one up there fast enough. Oh, well, all I can do is block this, really. Uh, Sofa Muncher did a $2 super jet. How far would you be if you could be reckless? I'd be m nearly done by now, probably. Ne like, I'd probably... Uh, I'd have a lot more territory for sure. There's no doubt about that. Because I'm being very cautious. Ready. Seek out the heretics. Step to it. Hmm. I trust no man. Speak. Servant. I'm worried that this one's just gonna jump over the underway here, so I'll try to tell him to attack that instead. Champion of the faith. I will do anything for Sigma. Oh, it, it, that's not going to attack us. Yeah, we're fine to just My journey start begins. moving up here. That can barely even move. All right, we've got this over here that needs to be done. Um, we can probably order resolve it, but yeah, this is costing us a lot of money, so getting rid of it would definitely help. Um, to battle. It's on Force March. It's okay, I was just going to disband it anyway. Okay. Now, we do have a decent garrison here, but not enough to be able to handle that. No. Tools of judgment ready. By the silver hammer. And the dwarfs are the provinces. Uh, hang on here. The nation calls. The Empire. So, no. <coughs> excuse me, I'm probably gonna need a combined 
Marius Leapdorf and additional forces here to deal with that. Who calls? Uh, so if Marius could stand right here, Praise we'll be able to reach that next turn for sure. Yes. Tools of judgment. What happens if I block him again? I'm actually not sure. They will be judged. Turns, like he's got turns of being blocked there. Yes. And then if we use one that's got a lot of blockage. Report. Yeah, 75 campaign movement range reduced for three turns. <laughs> that's as far as it can move. Okay, we need to put somebody in here. Um, you'll do. Huntsman General, we are born to hunt. Ah, uh, yeah. I've still got a fair few global recruit slots available. So yeah, get the guns in there. No, I blame you. No. Sir. That actually helped a fair bit. No point in recruiting anything local. Uh, what's the minimum turns you've taken to finish a full map? Uh, with the High Elves, I think I did it in 125 full map. I think that's what it was. I think that was the quickest. You can do it quicker with um, Beastmen quite easily, but I just haven't done it with Beastmen. That's all. Alright, you move over here. You move over here. They will be judged. Sigmarite Arch Lector. There is power within friend. What do you require? Purpose of these guys, just scout. I Need to know what's going on. Okay, we should have all of our bases covered pretty much. Out there. So if the Chaos Invasion shows up, we sh we should be okay. Volkmar. Okay. 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 Thank you, Mr. Super Chat. Ah, uh, I did too. Antoine Monin did a 5CHF Super Chat. In Kalita Vortex campaign, you go north against Teclis or south against Cult of Sotek after killing your first enemy. Great stream as always, thanks. Thanks, Super Chat, dude. I have never played Kalita on the Vortex campaign. Sorry. So I have no idea what you should do. I've never played it. Alright, to save up the money, because we probably going to need a lot of emergency armies uh, units. Uh, don't forget to block this over here. I trust no man. Speak. True servant of Sigma. Oh, and we need to check over here for another beast wizard. Regal. Discipline happened there. Okay. Grey Guardian. Still working on that beast wizard doomstack. The Amber Order. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the thing I'm most concerned about this turn is if they launch the attack on us, because obviously these won't be ready. Um, or if they like jump in the underway over here, that could be a big, big problem. However, most of this force here is complete trash, and Carl Franz is like really fucking strong. Really, really strong. Well, I could probably find some way to cheese that. If I absolutely have to. Bring me to my men. Anyway. It's just, oh man. Feel better about that one. Uh needling does not need walls there. Don't need that. Oh god, how long have been since I've been in this area? How am I doing that for? Settlement upgrades. Yeah, a little bit here and there is okay. Uh no 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 no, no more. I need the money for next turn. Chances are they won't declare war on me because um, it'll mean instant death to them because of um, all the other things going around, but we will see. Nashrex let No, we need to get walled up there. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Let's see what happens. We've got a 10% chance of the Chaos Invasion showing up. Has been pretty stable number of viewers this whole campaign. Yeah, very, very happy with the turnout for sure. We'll definitely continue this next time. Uh, I don't know if I'll be live streaming tomorrow, but uh, whatever the next live stream. Oh, shit. Whenever the next live stream episode is, it'll be this. If anything, I think the turnout today was better than yesterday, which is nice. All right, they're on the move. Just one Kalidor campaign, but it took me ages to get any decent units. Feels like the High Elves Eco is rubbish early mid-game. Are you supposed to just rush growth buildings with them? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, they're a little bit tough in the early mid-game. You want to be recruiting just basic archers for the most part. Okay, he's going away. Unless you lose. Oh yeah, if I lose, that'll that'd be the end of it. <sighs> well, them losing the settlement is not as bad as them losing the army, so... We'll see. Shit. Are you still working four days a week? I'm supposed to be doing five days, but I've been a bit tired lately. So I'm just not pushing myself too hard. I don't wanna I don't wanna set myself up for what I did with Realm of Chaos and be exhausted before I even start streaming. Alright, come on, I'm hoping for good things here. Take out loads of enemy armies. You can do it. Take out them rats. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you see how far he ran? Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Good. Fucking hell. You gonna win? You gonna win? Oh, you dipshit. Agent, which mechanic would you try in Warhammer 2? For instance, I found that Rakal's beast catching mechanic is extremely boring. Thanks a lot. I agree. I don't really like his beach, beast catching mechanic at all, personally. I think it's quite boring. Um, beastman mechanics? Like Torox? That's probably a lot of fun. Have you taken a vacation before IE releases? No, 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 I'm good. If I keep going at this pace, I'm good. Like, I'm really enjoying the campaigns that we're doing. I'm not under any serious stress. Like, I'm not covering the the news for, for Immortal Empires. I'm not in the creator discord, so I'm not... I'm not under any stress. I've What I've done is I've really stripped away all the things that cause a lot of stress in my life. Like, like I said, excessive communications with CA, that always stresses me out. Um, you know... Trying to stay on top of fucking Total War news. I'm not paying any attention to that. Just keeping stress at an absolute minimum. And I get that people are going to come on and be like, uh, what do you think about all the news? But I just say I don't care. Which I don't. So I'll be fine with Immortal Empires, you know. We've got things that are at a nice stable pace at the moment. What happened to your plans going to Germany? Oh, look, th those were barely even formed at all, but uh, it's probably not going to happen. Did you say anything about Azazel gameplay? They don't really show gameplay. That was an Azazel trailer. So, meh. I don't trust anything that CA shows, so until I either see a creator that I trust, or... I get access to it myself. Um, I, I did. I barely even watched it. I watched it for like two minutes and then turned it off. How can the empire? I 
emergency of the week when it's stay stress free, keep away from one news. Well, it just it just depends. It just depends. Like some people absolutely love all the news and the drip feed garbage that CA does. They they really get off on it, and that's cool. That's fine. Whatever floats your boat. But do you guys remember last year with all the shit trailer? Not sh the trailers aren't shit, but all the trailers and drip fed blog feeds. Do you remember how like annoyed I was getting at it that they weren't showing gameplay? Um, I'm just not paying it any attention now because Creative Assembly have proven that they haven't learnt a single thing from Immortal Empires. They're just doing the same thing that they always do. So, I've just switched off, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just not paying attention. You know, the stuff may or may not be good, but I just don't trust their marketing one bit. And you shouldn't either. It's, it's not trustworthy. You know, the Warriors of Chaos DLC might be amazing, but I'm not going to get that information from anything that CA has to offer, so you'll just, just, just have to wait. You know, if one of the other creators had access to it and said it's amazing, I'd trust them. But any any CA trailers or blog posts, no. <gasps> You're dead. We got him. He didn't declare war on us. He's dead. Okay, no worries to cast this turn. Cool, alright, let's get rid of this turd. Guess we don't need you anymore. Actually, no, block him so he doesn't run away too far, because sometimes all these rivers and stuff can be a bit of a problem. We should just be able to auto-resolve this. They haven't been around long enough to gain experience. Will the Warriors of Chaos be way OP, to, like the Beastmen? I am Prince and summon the Elector. Uh -oh. Is there content creator you don't trust? Uh, in terms of like the ones that I follow, or that uh, like in, within the Total War Warhammer community, I don't think there's any untrustworthy Total War creators. There's definitely people who I'll, like, disagree with, but I don't think there's anyone that I don't trust. This will bolster the you know, nation. just thinking off the top of my head. You know, no outright liars. There is power within prayer. Okay. Having visibility over here means Crazy I don't need this one simple. anymore. What do you require? Okay, I'm going to get a Witch Hunter here. Wait, did I not get rid of that one? Seek out that. What? Ready. Yeah, once this guy here is in position, this guy... Actually, this guy can be disbanded now. It seemed like units kept experience when upgrading in the Azazel trailer. Do you think that'll be feasible? I don't know. Look, those videos are heavily edited. You, they're, they're, they're there to generate hype, not to tell you how to play what, what's going to happen, okay? Those are marketing videos. Take them with a pinch of salt. You know, it's up to you what you, what you want to think about that kind of stuff. Alright, uh, block this dude again. Seek out the heretics. What have you to say? Sigmarite Arch Lecture. And we should be able to auto-resolve this, and then that'll just be the Fast end of... Deep. End of that. If Lawmaster told you he thought it was great, would you trust him not to be dick-riding CA? Uh... Uh, okay, that's different. That's different. Um... He, he doesn't dick-ride CA, okay? Lawmaster of Sotek, like I, I know him fairly well. He, the things that he wants from Total War Warhammer 
are different a lot of the times to what I want. A lot of times there is overlap. So, um, you just got to understand the person. So, when Lawmaster of Sotek is hyped about something, it's usually coming from like a lore perspective or a, a like a, um, a tabletop perspective, something like that. Not necessarily a gameplay perspective. So, like, I watch Law Master of Sotek, so whenever I watch his stuff, and I see that he's excited for it, I just know that this is something that lore people get excited about. And that's good. They should be benefiting the lore stuff. But in terms of, like, gameplay, um, that's not really what Sotek focuses on that much. And so I'm not going to judge his opinions based on something that he's not going to focus on, if that makes sense. You know? Like, I'm very mechanics-focused. Like, I want it to be lore-friendly, okay? But if the gameplay isn't there, if the mechanics aren't sound, that's where I draw a problem. Alright, they did actually end up taking that. Alright, the problem that I've got here is I can't be everywhere at once. So, I'll block this one. Yeah, see, if I come around over here, then something can come to this way. I, I don't have any more witch hunters available. I've got this dude over here, but I'm just keeping an eye on them just in case they come up this way. Uh, Jazuri1 did a $5 super chat. What CPU and GPU do you have? Um, and does SSD make a huge difference for this game? SSD has a big difference on load times, for sure. Um. I trust no I will stop them. CPU, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's old. My GPU is a 1080, uh, GTX 10i. It's pretty good. Um, but it's getting a little bit old now. I live to serve the Emperor. Guided by Sigma. Let's see if I can get there before them. So? Alright, I should be able to auto-resolve this. So and once that's you. done, Clan Moors is permanently kicked out of this area. Huntsman General! Huntsman General! By the comet! And I might even be able to justify getting rid of Marius Leetdorf's army now. We always had the upper hand. How would you feel about a character having a steam tank mount? I'm, I'm fine with that. Huntsman General. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Oh, God, I gotta switch because it's immortal. The Empire. All right, this area here is finally cleared out. So what we'll do with our witch hunters now is send them down here to keep an eye on Clan Moors. Um, let me see if I can get out of this war. Yeah, yourself. <laughs> Ring ring. Blah. Yeah. Now. By the comet. Well, I've had this the army for so long, but I don't need it anymore. Well, I guess I could calmly make my way down here. I guess that's okay. Moving off. Who calls? That is not my mission. Ready. So. Now, moving off. I trust no man. Show me the accused. All right. Godfrey, journey shark. Come on. Cool. Somebody to check out this area here. Uh, Jared Boone did a five dollar super chat. As someone who finds the current hype level quite suffocating, I appreciate your pragmatism. No worries, dude. Yeah, look. If people want to get hyped, it's totally fine. I just, I'm just not gonna join the crowd in this one. You know, I, I don't think hype is a good thing. Um, it, 
at the moment. Thanks, Super Chef, by the way. Um, and I'll argue. Here's here's the reason why I don't want to get hyped, right? If if you get hyped for something really easily, what I find is that CA tends to like get a bit lazy on things because they feel like, oh, people are gonna love it no matter what we do, right? And so they just don't put in a maximum effort. Effort. But if you don't show hype and show apathy to what they do, then they'll be like, well, we don't actually know if people are going to like this. We should probably try a bit harder. I just want them to put in maximum effort. They owe you, after Warhammer 3, to put in maximum effort. And if they do put in maximum effort and it is really good, I will praise them after it comes out, not before. You know? You know? Credit where credit's true. If you have... As much as I've got problems with CA, if they do a good job, I'll give them, you know, a good pat on the back and say, atta boy. But they've got to do that good job first. They don't get the atta boy, you know, beforehand. It's like if you've got a kid and they walk up to you and they say, I'm going to clean my room today. And you go, ah, oh, awesome. I'm so excited about you cleaning your room. Let's go and have a party. Yay, they're going to clean their room. And then they do a fucking shit job of it, you know? It'd be like, well, <laughs> I could have been a bit, a bit less uh, excited about that, you know, sort of thing. What? So, who calls? Uh, I, I will get the ogres, but I'm not going to get Volkmar to do it because I need him to go elsewhere. Just grab a general. Oh, it's only going to cost me seven grand to do that. Let us forge our faith. All right, so something's bubbling over here. Marathi is coming, but she's really badly damaged and she's taking attrition. So we did build up walls here. If she does attack, I think I can repel her even with these basic-ish walls. Basic-ish. Then again, it's Marathi. She probably won't land there next turn, though. Um... All right, I think we should maybe take this seriously. Because at the very least, somebody's going to get that trait. I'm going to pump her ass so full of lead, she's going to think they're anal beads. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so I'm not going to send Volkmar up that way. No, wrong, wrong one! God damn it, I need to get rid of this turd. Because, yeah, where we're going now... All right, just stay at Port Reva, and I think we'll set sail and start helping Lock here. At uh, Lock here, um, him sort this stuff out. Yeah, he didn't actually force much sense. I just want to wait for this dude to come out. Made a mistake. You go on ahead. On March. She might enjoy that though. Fine, I don't care if she enjoys it. She's still gonna die. Next time we take her out, she'll be dead for good. Um, Andy C did a two pound super chat. Jarikov demands for dwarf engineers. Yeah or nay? I'm totally down for that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Thanks for super chat, dude. All right, let me check. Did we get a disciplined beast wizard? No. Freaking shadow again. What do you seek? So over the next turn, it'll be a 15% chance wizard. of chaos showing up. Which is, you know, not nothing. Alright, before we hit this... We should probably get as many of these Imperial Griffins sorted as possible.
Because, yeah, I might have to fight it manually. So, what's the difference in upkeep between that and... Oh, it's not that big. It's about... 120 extra cost. Yeah, they're not all ready just yet. Okay. Here we go. Should be an easy order resolve. Uh, Akagi Senpai became a member for 23 months. Hey, Legend, what's the best stack for Gorok? Um, probably just Saurus Warriors. Yeah, I ran a Saurus Warrior camp, um, Saurus Warriors and his army up until late campaign, and it was fine. Um, like, it's not amazing. As long as you're, you're not getting dogpiled by, like, three armies, you should be okay. If you can, try to get Blessed Saurus Warriors. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Cool. Servant of the Faith. Mm. All right, just land here so that we can get replenishment. Moved. Marius has moved. This dude. Might need to go into a camp stance next turn. Gelt's ready. That's good. Yep, you're ready. You're. You're good to go. Yep. Yep. Fucking toddy. Okay. I need more witch hunters out here. I just I can't push forward without more blockers. Unless I want to raise more armies, which I don't. By the comet. Yeah, I really don't think they're gonna declare war on me. I don't want to get any treaties with them. Are they defensive? Minor power. Okay. Yeah. The Empire. All right, I'll send this one up here. Just to block any Cut armies that out. might come down. Because the Tomb Kings have shitloads of armies. They only need one army to cause a defeat on us. But yeah, I want to get over to Rosetra. This is green territory as well for us. Okay, don't spend too much of that money. And don't forget to check out... Oh, hang on. Don't forget about this as well. Is Bretonnia heading into Athalorn yet? Oh, what the fuck? How many times do I got to tell you to... Take out the Oak of Ages. What the, where the fuck are you going? Oh, maybe they're going after this. No, you fail, failed. The nation calls. Man, look at this. They still have not recovered. I could probably get out of this war if I really wanted to. With enough of a bribe. Seek out the heretics. I accuse. There's no way to land across this coastline unless they go all the way up here. Never. I will obey. If we take this out, then they they have no hope. That's their last recruiting thing, at least as far as I can tell. All right, I think we're done with the turn.
Alright, maybe just wait until we hit tier 5 here. Okay, okay. Well, 15% chance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we got a good amount of coverage out here. Who calls? Yeah, just, just stay right next to your and things gathering. Pick up the pace. Yeah, really good amount of coverage. Okay, moving on. Arcane hasn't shown up yet. Not yet. Bound to happen any turn now. 15% chance over this end turn. Honestly, though, the longer it takes, the better, because as soon as Archeon is finished, alliances are really going to start to break down. Oh, they're going to do this. This is good, because even if they win, which I actually kind of hope they do, they're going to be so weak now. This will easily just finish the job. <laughs> Good. Oh, I can reach you from there. Good. Alright, call to pleasure. Oh, for fuck's sake, Marcus. How the fuck are you inhabiting uninhabitable land without it freaking out? Yep, Galmarez and the stuff are coming. Fucking hell! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um. Yeah, this. Uh, sorry, Galmarez and the staff of command together provide uh, provide plus six public order. I've got a bunch of other global bonuses to public order. Yeah, that, that's why. We just got loads of global bonuses. Do you remember the campaign Tyrion where Archeon showed up didn't show? Mm, that was a very long time ago, that one. That was a really, really long time ago. That was before the Chaos Invasion rework. I'll need to assassinate that. Alright, if this one is heading towards the desolation of Nagash, I'm fine with that. Why would you ruin Dweller then? This turn's coming up. I want to see what they get up to. Oh, hang on. Oh, nothing. I played this Garsnake campaign and Chaos arrived, and then the next turn, Archeon arrived. It was very odd to me. Was that recently? Can you get Galmaraz, another legendary lord, besides Carl? No. Only Carl can occupy that one. Oh, to equip that one. I might need to get the Beast Wizard Dim Stack to go and fight the Skaven, because uh, the Skaven's not going to be good against that. I don't think. Not good against flying monsters. Alright, no Chaos Invasion this turn. That's fine by me. Gives me more time to prepare out there. Alright, with this here under siege, 
Uh, I think there's a pretty good chance that Aztec will win there. So. So, so, so. Tools of judgment ready. Let's just go here in an ambush dance. For the best. And you you move up that Show way. Me the accused. My fails me. Yeah, it should be fine. If he swings around over here, we'll get him. Champion of the faith. I will do anything for Sigma. Forward in his name. Your word is my command. Gonna need a siege attacker anyway, so let's grab you. I think you're on a griff. Nope, you're not. This will bolster the nation. Any griffins in here? I know I've got some, I just don't know where. You no. Ah, oh, fuck it, just get a new one. Too hard to keep track of them. The nation calls. Cool. That shouldn't be a problem then. So, is that where heretics lurk? They will be judged. Yes. Is that where heretics lurk? What? It'll be fine. We'll get some replenishment when we get to about here, so no problems there. And yeah, let's uh, let's send this one down along this way and uh, go to Escape and Blight, I guess. I will go. There's nothing in this area. Even if we got ambushed, we should be fine. Okay, Disciplined isn't showing up anywhere, so once again, just recruit and disband there. Just need two more to finish it off. Has Sia ever reached out to sponsor you? Uh, uh okay, that's... It's not really a yes or no question. It's like this. CA put out public posts. No, no, sorry, not public posts. They put out notices about like, hey, we're going to sponsor some videos. Submit an idea and then we'll consider it. I've just never submitted an idea because from past experience with CA, they've almost always said no. And also... From what I've heard, the, the money from sponsored videos from CA is kind of not that great. So, um, I I can't be fucked. But no, they've never come to me and said, Hey, hey, Legend, we've got an idea and we want you to be involved with it. They've never said that. Um, generally speaking, if they came up with that kind of collaboration, I probably wouldn't want money. If, if I thought it was a good idea, I'd do it for free. But... Like, I, I tell you what I've done. I've come up with ideas, and most of the time, you know, it's been shot down. So, after a while of things being said no so many times, you just kind of don't bother anymore. You know, I'm just kind of used to it. I've, I've never been one of CA's favorite. You know, they've never once shouted me out on, on, like, social media. Not that it would do anything at this point anyway, but I've yes. never been one of their favorites. Huntsman General, is it time? When you go to bits here, we'll undersell you. Yeah, I, I just can't be I can't be fucked. Okay, fucked. Do you think they'll ever make an Empire 2? Yeah, yeah, I think they'll do it. The One day. Calls. That makes sense. I'd love to see you involved with their official channel sometime. Prior to Warhammer 3, I probably would have been down for something like that, but right now. No. There is, with things how they currently are, there is no chance of that happening whatsoever. No chance of it. They will pick somebody else. You know. Legend is so fucking jaded with CA. 
Oh yeah, I there's no no secrets, no. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, the way I think of it is that with the lead up to Warhammer Three, and given that I made myself completely available to CA and told them that, I thought, if anything was going to happen, it would have happened. And since nothing happened and nothing was offered. Nothing is ever going to be offered, or would have ever been offered. So, my thoughts are, is that... I just, I just, not holding out hope for anything. So, that's just, uh, I just don't care. I got better things to do than waste my time on people that are not interested in me. You know? <laughs> I just don't have time for that, you know? It's totally fine. I don't need them, and they don't need me. That's just how it is. Yeah. From 1 to 10, how excited are you for Immortal Empires? 2. I don't get hyped anymore. Hype is bad. Hey, Legend, are you still planning on doing a small unit scale? Well, by you saying, are you still planning on it, that implies that at some point I was planning on it, which I never was. So, the answer to that is no. But I was never planning on it. Okay, I think we've done all of our blockings. Yeah? Nope, I haven't blocked him yet. Who calls? Speak. Tools of judgment ready. Skaven is starting to actually come back over here. I might need to raise another army if this keeps up. Mature take, really. Well, what are you going to do? If, if, here's the thing. If you've got a relationship where it's one-sided, where one person is clearly wanting to participate and the other person isn't, it creates resentment. So the best thing you can do is just not participate any further, which is what I'm at. Because otherwise, I will get res res uh, resentful. I was getting very resentful, you know? You know, CA wasted a, a lot of my time. A lot of it. Holy shit. Sometimes these really close order resolves can be really bad. I'll have to fight this manually. <laughs> How does that take that's Pyrrhic? Is there two? Keep in mind, like, when I say 2 out of 10, that doesn't mean I think that Immortal Empires will be 2 out of 10. I think I think it'll be quite good. You asked me if I was excited for Immortal Empires. No, because it's probably going to be a lot of work. And I think it's going to be... Um, it's, a, it's a closed beta. Sorry, it's an open beta. Yeah. I'm not excited by that. I'm not excited by... Hey, look! Here's the main thing that you've been waiting for. It's not quite ready. <laughs> sort of. Alright, we should advance on them. Hang on, hang on. Oops. So it's okay to layer up the thing here because... Oh yeah, I filled her ass full of lead. Okay, now don't get wounded yet because otherwise we won't get the trait. Valiant defeat, as you can see here. Wait, no, it said period victory, didn't it? But yeah, in terms of my overall, like, thoughts on Immortal Empires, like, I'm sure at some point, whether it be on launch or six months, a year from now, 
it'll eventually be really good. Creative simply can't afford for it not to be. Um, they, it's something is going to force their hands, but I don't know. It's a lot of work, you know, doing um, doing this kind of stuff, and uh, I just don't get excited for doing that kind of work these days. I think I'm more excited Moving for out. Immortal Empires to just be out so that everyone's playing it and just be done with like early access and that kind of crap because it's so much stress than I am about like, ooh, early access. Oh, that's why she had the Sword of Cain. Yuck! Alright. Alright, shouldn't have to worry about any of that, but yeah, Malice Darkblade is there, so we'll just keep it there for a bit longer. Cool. They don't need that, but that's still cool. Alright, it's time to go and help out. Oh good, he actually did manage to defeat Lockyer there. Alright, so of all the enemies that they have down here, Teclas is dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Um... The Pirate King is no pawn. I will end you. Mm. Too bad I can't like capture settlements and just give it to him. Can't do that. So what I want to do is help him. I don't want to capture the territories myself. I just want to help. Is Volkmar needed anywhere else? Really? Ninety-four settlements. True servant of Sigma. Ever vigilant. What have you to say? Praise be to Sigma. Just trying to think. Where are we going to send him? Because yeah, Marcus Wolfhart sort of hit a dead end with all this. He's at war with essentially two factions. Skeggy's nothing. What I could maybe do is sail all the way around here and land here. The Star Tower. And just f what what will happen if I if I land here with uh, Volkmar, then all of Lockyer's forces will start pulling back over here, allowing Marcus Wolfhart to come in. Because um, we can sort of rely on anti-player bias, and that way I can sort of lock it down here. That would probably be the best way for us to make sure that Marcus Wolfhart does all the work. Oh wow! Look at all the extra movement. And then with the Steam Tank Doomstack, we'll send that down here. Yeah, because I can capture this. I can lock that down quite easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you require? So yeah, we'll go and send him some military assistance there. Send him to Galleon's Graveyard. Yes, if they've only got one settlement. Yes, let me have a look. Yes. Yes, that's what we'll do. Good thinking. Yep. We'll go to Galleon's Graveyard first. It's, it's a long distance, though. Yeah, Galleon's Graveyard. Let's sort that out. The biggest problem, though, with Galleon's Graveyard is that it's fucking impossible to defend it. <laughs> But we can we get a good amount of time if someone starts showing up there, so we can globally recruit really quick. But yeah, that's a good idea. Because Noctilus can be a big pain in the ass. Alright, we have access to more witch hunters. So we're out here. Okay, if we get Alright, if I get a witch hunter here. Ready? Then I can get rid of this one. Because that way, we've got all of this area here covered. 
All of this area here covered. This area here is covered. Show me the accused. Yeah. All right, if the Bjornlings show up, we sh we should be okay now. We've really got that all quite covered. All right, got trick. Yeah, head over that way. None of those levels up are important. Area sleep door. Yeah, you should be fine to force march as long as you do that, like, out this way. There's no scaven out this way. I've been keeping track. And guilt is just waiting. Alright, I don't have much money left over, so I think I'll just save until next turn. Alright, uh, blockings. Have we, we... We blocked this, didn't we? Yep, I blocked it. With early access, can't you just work the amount you are comfortable working? Yes, but there's always expectations from audience. Okay, like, think of it like this. Imagine if I had early access to Immortal Empires, and I was streaming it, and you guys had a bunch of questions, and I was like, yeah, guys, I've only played, like, 20 minutes of it. You know? Oh, I've had it for... I've had it for fucking six weeks, or... Three weeks, two weeks, whatever. Yeah, I've only played it for 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't answer any of your questions. Legend, what about this? What about that? What about this? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played any of it yet. You know, there's always some expectations from you guys, and I want to be able to answer those questions of yours. So, um, there's just always a lot to do. It was just easier when nobody expected me to get early access because then I didn't get those questions. You know, the other creators would uh, be releasing their early access stuff. And everyone would be like, yeah, we know Legend doesn't get early access. It's all good. And it was just, it was just easy. <laughs> it's just easy. I didn't have all that extra fucking work to do. Ah, uh, don't, don't worry about this. Let's move on. Yeah, we'll wait until that hit tier 5. Maku Peak shouldn't need walls. Okay, and let's... Moving on. Seek out the heretics. With 86 legendary laws, no one's expecting you to know everything. Oh yeah, I, I get that. No, generally speaking, I'm not going to know everything. But it's not acceptable for me to know nothing, you know. Tools of judgment ready. Be at peace. Well, that's yeah, there's there's a hope. big difference between knowing everything and knowing nothing. You know. Which is, that's why I put in so much effort into Warhammer 3's like, main game's early access. I tried to find out as much stuff as possible. Like, I knew, I knew the game back to front, really. Um, in early access with Warhammer 3. Fuck a lot of good that did me. <laughs> oh well. I think it'd be fun to see you figure it out in real time. It's fun to see you at Total Master, but a lot of fun to see you figure out stuff in that time before. Yeah, I've tried doing that stuff. It's it's not very good to go in. Like, let's just say hypothetically, I didn't get early access. That's just hypothetical, all right? And I get it at the same time you guys do on the 23rd of August. I'm not going to stream on the 23rd of August. I'll spend some time, you know, one or two days playing it first and figuring it out before I'll stream it because the alternative doesn't get as good results. I'm not going to do blind uh, let's plays. Just backfires on me. 
every single time, so I don't do it. You know, I you know do my homework first. How much failure is growing pains you have to go when starting to learn new Total War game? Depends on the Total War game. So, for example, Thrones of Britannia, I, like, instantly picked it up and mastered it because it was exactly the same as Total War Attila. But a game like Three Kingdoms, that took a little bit of time to get my head around it. That took, like, maybe two or three days. Uh, Warhammer 3, as an example, um, didn't take very long to get my head around it. It, it was different than then like Warhammer 2 there were some things I had to sort of like behaviors I had to wean myself out of for example doom stacking in Warhammer 3 not a good idea um, you're actually way better off crap stacking so that was something I had to wean myself off you know I was trait farming to begin with in Warhammer 3 which is a complete waste of time so I stopped doing that um, yeah. building walls in Warhammer 3 I realized fairly quickly that building a wall was a huge mistake, so I stopped building walls. Uh, but just minor things like that, but in terms of the core gameplay and how battles worked, it was more or less the same. Aren't you being a bit too negative in regards to IE? No. No. What do you mean? I'm not, I'm not uh, evaluating it at all. I'm just saying it's it's a lot of work, that's all. I I'm not being negative on it at all, because I haven't played it. Why is building walls bad? In Warhammer 3, uh, the reason why uh, building walls, in my opinion, is bad is because... Um, in my opinion, it is easier to defend a minor settlement, as in a settlement that doesn't have walls, than a settlement that does have walls, due to the, the makeup of the layouts of, of, these, of these settlements. There are a few exceptions, like there are a few walled settlements that are actually really well defensible, but on average, a wall actually makes a settlement more difficult to defend because you are forced to defend two specific positions. Whereas in minor settlements, you can defend any position you want as long as you defend at least one of the supply points. That's the only thing you need to worry about. Um, that gives you a flexibility to maneuver around the camp, uh, the battle map. Um, and uh, it just gives you more tactical flexibility. Whereas wall settlements gives you less tactical flexibility. In addition to that, the AI will starve out a walled settlement for longer than a minor wall. So, for example, let's just say an army of Scarbrand that is not that tough, right? It's not that tough of an army, and it chooses between two scenarios. It besieges a uh, the same settlement, except one has tier 2 walls, in the, as in it doesn't have any walls at all, but just has a garrison building, and the other one has tier 3 walls. If it besieges the one that doesn't have walls, then it'll likely launch the attack straight away, which means you've taken no attrition. It's easier to win that because you've got a better garrison. But he goes after the walled settlement. Because you get an order resolve boost because you have a wall, all right, he'll starve you out for three or four turns, maybe five turns. So when he launches the attack, your army will be weaker. So you could build walls if you intend to send a relief force to defeat the enemy armies. The thing is, though... Um, I find that minor settlement battles, generally speaking, are relatively easy to defend, where you can take on twice as many of of what you're going up against, compared to what you've got, and still come out on top, if you know what you're doing. Um, so I usually don't need to send relief forces. Basically, I've gotten way better results out of building as few walls as possible as to building as many walls as possible. Also, you got to consider that building a wall costs money. Like, it's not cheap. So you're building something that provides a detriment. So if you don't build that wall, you can build something else. You know? People often forget that, you know, the building of the wall is not free. But yeah, it's just these kind of like really silly things that happen with um with a design of a of a game that CA doesn't take into consideration is why the siege rework is not good. 
I trust no man. Shit, I've never seen these guys come. Oh, the War of Bordelow. Interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. Your reach exceeds your grasp, son of Sigma. Leave while you still. That is interesting. I'll think about that. But you can attack now with the city to attacking army. Sallying out, is that what you mean? Yeah, so you turn to a field battle, which is even more difficult to win. Because you lose access to choke points and towers, which oftentimes is the, the key to victory. Yeah. So, you know, to you know, just to when I when I had early access to um, Warhammer Three, the base game, I did mention this stuff to Creative Assembly about um, sieges, about how it's falling flat; they're oh, not actually yours. good. And I, I did provide them with a suggestion on how to fix walled sieges. So to fix walled sieges, here's what you need to do. Why is trait farming away from Warhammer Three? Because there's no good traits. There's no good traits. They took them all out of the game. Um, apart from disciplined, but that's not really worth um, trait farming unless you're playing as corn or, or um, uh, slanesh, and even then you don't need it. So it's just a waste of money. So here's what would make walls worth building for in Warhammer Three. One, attrition uh, buffer time. So if you've got a settlement under siege, if it's a tier three wall, I think you should have three turns before you start taking attrition. If you've got a tier four wall, four turns. Tier five wall, five turns. No attrition until those timer has expired, unless there is, you know, a Lord skill that reduces it, right? Reduces that time. Um, making walls actually provide you more time to, to deal with, a, with an army. Then the next thing that they need to do to make walls worth it is remove that secondary capture point that you have to hold on to. If you get rid of that one, that will make a big difference in giving the defender an actual advantage because a lot of the time that minor uh, defensive position is in such a bad spot and you just have to defend it. It's like um, all of the towers are facing the wrong way so they're obstructed or the or the uh, the choke points are just bad. It's just not a good settlement, uh, good area to hold. And the thing is, you could hold the walls, but the AI usually might have some like flying units or some fast units, and uh, they just like destroy you up on the walls. So there's a lot of scenarios where standing up on the wall with your infantry is a gigantic mistake, especially if it's like a fucking demon, right? If it's if it's a Lord of Change, do not fight a Lord of Change on the walls. He'll just knock all of your troops off the wall. Same thing with, like, um, uh, Plague Drones. Don't fight them up on the walls. There's so many situations where you just should not fight up on the walls, right? So it gives the defender a disadvantage. And so you, f you don't fight up on the walls. You've got to fight in the choke points in the street. And that'll be fine if it, you weren't stuck in these fucking terrible positions. So there is one particular map in the game, um, in Cathay, that is so bad that basically if I'm, ro if, like, if I'm attacked and I get that settlement, I usually just give up straight away. Because it's, the defender has a disadvantage over an attacker of equal force. Because it's such a fucking difficult settlement to defend. Because every single choke point sucks. Every single defensive position sucks. And you have to hold so many of them with, you know, so few troops. And it's a gigantic map and the enemy, like, surrounds you. It's a fucking nightmare to defend. So if they did that, it'd be worth building the walls if they if they change that. You know, there's some some bindings of the towers that make no sense. Like for example, uh, let's just say you've got your um a cap, uh, capture point, and there will be a tower that it's bound to that's halfway across the map, but um there is actually a closer capture point closer to it. Now, the thing is, if you put that tower down, and you're defending that position, that tower can't fucking defend your your position at all. You, it can only defend if anyone was over there. It's really, 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 really fucking stupid, and there's a lot of the maps are like that. So, yeah, it's just a lot of really, really shit map design in Warhammer 3's siege rework, which is why, in my opinion, in terms of walled sieges, they're worse than Warhammer 2. I hate them. I go 
know where I am needed. Yeah. Champion of the faith. Does anyone know in map which map in Cathay is bad? Uh, it's the one that has um. Uh, like it, the the minor capture point, like the the horn, the one that provides plus two victory tickets, it's in the dead center of the map, and then the plus five is way at the back, and that one's actually got some good towers. But the one in the middle, it has no towers attached to it. All it has is it has like ten fucking entry points into the center of it, and it's really massive. So uh, a really massive settlement. So if if an enemy force captures that and you're just defending the good capture zone, by the time they get to you, you've lost the battle just because they won via victory tickets, and they haven't even fought your army. It's it's a terrible settlement to defend. Absolutely terrible. In fact, it's so terrible that if I, if I attack that settlement, I'm always guaranteed to win, because the AI just cannot defend that settlement. It's so bad. You're better off fighting out in the field than fighting in that fucking map. It's so bad. What orders? I live to serve the Emperor. It's just like, just awful design through and through. Absolutely awful. And all they're going to do is just change a couple of things and, and it would make it work. But, I don't know. I don't know. Revenous Moose said a fight with Super Chat. Is that the map with the capture point that has a tower right behind a pillar? I had to Zerg rush out of the gates to win instead of holding anything? It's been a while. I'm not entirely sure. Like, if I saw a picture of it, I could show you. I don't want to really go into it, but, um... Like, if you fought on that map, you'll know. Is the capital of Cathay tried it? Yeah, it, it might be the capital of Cathay. Yeah, it might, it might be. But it's fairly common within Cathay. Um... And it's, um... It's really bad for, defender, for the defender. The attacker has the advantage. Which is weird, you know, for defending a walled settlement, the defender should pretty much have the advantage against equal troops. Like, walled sieges are bad, right? Really, really bad to the point where I, I've, I've found some things. I'm not going to tell you guys about it just yet because I want you guys to be able to experience the, the, the bliss. Um... I'm gonna say this. There was a map that I um, went tested out. This is this is an Immortal Empires map. Um, I'm not gonna say which one it is, but there is an Immortal Empires map that if you bring um, the right unit, you can win the battle with zero casualties. It doesn't even matter how many enemy forces are in it, but you can win the battle with zero casualties. And all you need is one of a particular type of unit. That's it, just one, and you can win this battle. Regardless of whatever you go up against, you can win it with no casualties. So, this map is a walled city map. You could put in three full stack armies. And all I need is one unit, and I can win. Please tell us. No, I won't tell you. If I tell you, you won't be able to make use of it. So, I'm, I've saved a lot of stuff, so I'll, look, I'll show you guys when you guys can actually play it. Because if I show it to you now, see it will be... See, it's pretty good with patching that kind of stuff. Um, I want you guys to have some fun with it. Alright, what else do we need to do? Alright. Uh, don't force much through yes, here, because we're plan. entering skate. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Pick okay. up the pace. Glad it prompted me. <laughs> that, that would be bad. Of course, I just load. Tools of judgment ready. A Getting a bit tired. Order. Pick up the pace. You make fools of both of us. The nation calls. Okay, good. They won there. This will bolster the nation. I trust no man. You are judged. Challenge. Okay, they do have some force. We're gonna be kind of, Oh, what happened to the other army over here? I didn't actually check. 
Oh, I've got to go back. All right, it seems in the clear. Oh, crap. I didn't check. I didn't check. I I need to go back over here. That army could have gone into ambush stance. I didn't see over the end turn. It's not worth it for coming over here, just taking that defeat. Anyway, we're getting a Gashazar this turn. If you were the king of CA, how would exactly would you fix the C3 work? Well, I just I just told you guys how I would fix it. <laughs> I just told you how I would fix it. What does the emperor bid? And also, what do you mean by king of CA? It's not a country. But it is a cat! No, no. <laughs> Happen. No, we had a 20% chance of it showing up, but it didn't show up uh, this turn. This is interesting that they've actually started coming out. That is interesting, but also concerning. Ah, discipline showed up in the life wizard this time. Well, earlier in the stream, we had like four disciplined in a row, so, you know, sometimes you get four in a row and then four not in a row. Any Empire landmarks in the Gashi site? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. 200 gold, immune to vampiric attrition, leadership when fighting against vampire guns, vampire coast, tomb kings. It's. And vampire corruption plus 50. Not really a good. Not a good landmark. All right, we can finally get rid of this army here and put in a witch hunter. Oh, I need another archlector. The nation calls. Is there anything more broken than Devolve that you found? Uh, there are some broken things, but Devolve was the easiest to, to spot. There are some other things that are really subtle. Show me the accused. Speak. Orders. Tools of judgment ready. But like I said, I will show you guys all in due time. Did they fix Devolve? They said that they fixed Devolve. Yeah, they said they fixed it. Champion of the faith. Devolve was an easy fix, it was just like a database error. Or something like that. It was an easy fix. The point that I was trying to make in the video wasn't that it existed. It's that, that they took something that worked fine in Warhammer 2, imported it into Warhammer 3, and didn't test it. That's, that's the point I was making. You know, I knew they'd fix it quickly enough. But, you know, I found that instantly. Absolutely, like the first time I looked at it, I was like, "Ooh, well, look at that!" Yeah. You know. I don't know. Seems like it's important to at least cast a spell once. Like you cast that spell once, and you're like, "Oh shit, that's that shouldn't be doing that." You know. I mean, they, they should have, uh, they should have looked at it and been like, oh yeah, we should probably check that. I don't know, whatever. Okay, help it just hit tier 5, we can switch that over to taxes now. 
cool. I don't think we need the coaching in. Oh no, that gives us actually witch hunters. A lot of things important to IE. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. They will be judged. Cool. So it's totally fine if everything's a fucking mess then. <laughs> And I even said in that video, I didn't actually have a problem with Devolve being that busted. The whole point was that they definitely don't want it to be that busted, but they don't check these things. Uh, Warlord of Gaul did a final super chat. Big fan of the Daily Vids legend. Keep it good work. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks super chat. So I think she's down to four settlements, yeah. Alright, I think that's all the movements made for this turn, that's fine. So 196 settlements. Eight armies. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Things have been fairly calm lately. Alright, let's just move on. There's a backstage story to Are you right? Custom battles. We've got access to custom battles. Seek out the heretics. <gasps> oh no. I can't win that. <laughs> I can't win that. Guys, I just lost the battle. I'm sorry guys. I can't win that. There's no way in hell. There is there is not a chance in hell of winning that. I'm sorry, this is where the campaign ends. You know, sometimes you can just look around constantly and just not see something. I cannot win that battle. Even if I put on easy battle difficulty, I cannot win that. Yeah. Put a timer? Yeah. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Should we do that? There's a 20 minute timer. Okay. A timer cheese. Twenty minutes. Not even winnable on easy. See, even if I... if Like, he is going to be casting so... I, we don't engage with him. Alright, alright, we'll do that. This will be the last battle of the day, but this will probably be where we actually lose a battle. Thing is, it'll count as a draw. Okay, we'll put it on 20 minutes. Being on very hard battle difficulty won't make a difference. Uh, so for much of the tutorial, simply do the timer, not like this Plux Legend. Alright, well, we'll see how we go. I'll try this. Um, 20 minutes. I'll do the best I can. 
This is why you build walls? I was building walls in a lot of areas. This is red territory. It takes me ages to grow these settlements. This is a red region. Losing to Malekith, yeah. Alright, there's there's some places over here that... No, we can't hide. It's not marked properly. There's nowhere we can really go and hide. The only way we can do this is if we just constantly run away from Malekith with all of our units just in all different directions. It's the only... We got 20 minutes. Now, the thing is, the battle will draw. It, it won't count as a loss, but it'll still be... It won't be a victory. So, but that'll give me time to send that other army over here. I'm just, I was just fucking tired. I just wasn't. I should have gotten off. <laughs> I would have caught it otherwise. Alright, so if we do this, Malekith just can't be everywhere at once. Okay, now he only has to wipe out four of my units. I think. He has to wipe out four of them. Um, that means he has five, We each one of my units has to hold him back for five minutes. So what we do here is everyone just goes in different directions so that, okay, whichever one he's targeting to, everyone goes in the opposite direction, basically. It's a no defeats, not only victories. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Alright, looks like he's heading over to this one. Stay wide, he's going to be casting spells. Uh, Sacrilege did a five dollar super chat. Time for cheese time. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Thanks super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Don't even bother standing and fighting, because if he stands, then the spells will just wreck us. Oh look, they're all hidden. Oh god, how the fuck are we gonna last five minutes when he can cast spells at that rate? This one here will be next. Oh my god, it's already broken. It's already broken. How the fuck are we supposed to last 20 minutes? You're hiding? Yeah, but we're not the attacker in this situation. That's the problem. That one might rally still. Yeah, that one might rally and I can send it back again. And he did just cast a shitload of spells. Drainy rallied. Get back. Keep moving, keep moving. It rallied. That's good, that's good. Keep moving, keep moving. Just get away from him as far as possible. Get away from him. Go wide. Thing is, he's overcasting a fair bit as well. If he miscasts enough time, he'll actually end up killing himself. He's got no ability to heal. Quick march. Charge. He's casting... He's casting fucking Power of Darkness on himself. Good, route that way. That's it. No lingering! Swordman! Taking position! Don't forget, each one of my units has to hold out for five fucking minutes on average. The path of the tree counts as a forest. Well, we I think it's better to go with the um Hang on. He's just casting so many damn spells. This one here looks next. Now you might think he actually has to hold on to four, four minutes each, but the thing is, um, if we lose four of our units, we'll get army lost. Imagine if it was on a dragon. Yeah. Oh, actually. Yeah, if it was on a dragon, we could, um... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm trying to hide units down here. We've got quite a few that are hidden. I'm trying to do that. Look, look what he's doing. He's going slow. He's tired. <laughs> First load of five minutes. I just wish he'd overcast a bit more. He could die from mass miscasts. Yeah, he already started off damaged, so I don't know. We'll see. Will the army losses trigger if he keeps losing health? Possibly. No, go the other way. Go the other way, this way. Lure it away from this one. Oh, what's he doing? It's gonna break. Look at that, he's casting Power of Darkness on himself again. One here's hanging on by a thread. At speed. Sigmar guides us. How many of them does he have? Five. And each time he does it, takes out about thirty hit points of pop. Just keep moving, keep moving. He's for some reason he's only walking. What if we? Actually won this outright. Imagine that if we if we won it outright. You should stay closer to him, I think. Because if he keeps casting stuff on you, it's fine. Can you see how much winds of magic he has? No, I can't see that. Imagine if we actually won this without the timer. <laughs> I don't know. Just drain him of his magic. He did it again. Alright, you hang back. Alright, he's changing he's changing uh, course, because yeah, this one here is hidden. Alright, stay put, stay put. That might be his last one, but I hope he kind of cheats and gets more of them. Because, <laughs> like... Look at, look at how much damage he's doing to himself. I might actually be able to win this outright. Especially if he fucking overcasts. Look at it. Every time he does it, he loses like 100 health. I don't think he's got any more of them, though. I think he's used them all up. I think that was it. How much damage have you done to him? Nothing. Oh god, we haven't done any damage to him in melee. What's his stats? Yeah, it's really fucking high. I don't think he's gonna do it again. I think he ran out of um of those casts. All I can hope for now is miscasts. Okay, he's popping down. Blade wind. That unit's fucked. Surprised it didn't break with that much damage being done. Maybe it's because he doesn't have the faster, stronger enemies penalty nearby. Just, just a bit longer, dude. Just a bit longer. Formation, march! 
Malekith will cast some more. Has a little leadership. He was using Power of Darkness on himself, which uh, it's like the Forbidden Rod. He, he only has, gets it a few times though. I want to see if I can outright win. But one thing that we really need to do is like massively reduce his his casting. All right, you come back over here. Because if it keeps up at this rate, he actually needs to get rid of. Ah, there we go. Um, needs to get rid of, um, all five of our units if he keeps this up. Because he is wasting so much of his balance of power. Is that one going to rally? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. It rallied. I want him to keep casting on the unit that's like super badly damaged because magic's not great to be used on something that's really damaged. Ah, oh, damn it, he shattered. He's chasing after them for some reason. Oh, because he can't see anything else. Jared Boone did a two dollars super chat. Didn't hear no bell. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Shit. He's gonna run out of time if he keeps this up. Where'd he go? He's unbreakable though. Doesn't matter even if he was. He's not unbreakable. He is. Alright, he's, he's charging at us. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on. Did he miscast? Yes, he did. He did get a miscast. Large unit going up against Malekith. I hope he's low on magic now. He's not unbreakable. Oh, he's got the discouraged effect as well. Come on, guys. They're just not doing enough damage. If it was on normal battle difficulty, maybe we could actually win. We're, de we're definitely going to get the draw, I think. There's not enough time for him to get to the other one. I'll bring this one out. Because as long as this one here stays, we're fine. This one's going to route in a minute. I think he may have actually run out of magic. They might rally if he leaves them alone. Yeah, he doesn't have the time to win now, because he just can't get to this one. And if we have a look at that, yeah, see, all of that fighting only did 236 damage to him, it just wasn't enough. Because, like, our melee attack is just, like, it's only 20. He needs to keep miscasting, but I think he's he's uh, legitimately just run out of magic.
Yeah, it'll just immediately draw. We didn't lose. <laughs> now, what happens here is that he'll um, he'll still lay siege to the city. He won't be able to launch the attack again. But the thing is, if he did, he'll use the power of darkness on himself, and. Yeah, we didn't. We weren't defeated. We weren't defeated. <laughs> it's quite possible that if we give it enough time, we might have actually won. I may not have even needed to turn on the timer. Like he was really low on health. I think we actually could have won that. Like he was really, really low on health. If I didn't put on timer. Maybe. Karma did a five dollar super chat. Truly a spectacle. Ten out of ten. All right, thanks, dude. Well, we weren't defeating, defeated, so the uh, the campaign will continue. Yeah, that was that was lucky that he had the um, the uh, the power of darkness. He fucked himself so hard with that. No way win that. No, I think we were going to win. I think we were going to win because he had run out of magic. He only had 1,500 health left and we still had half of our forces. Um, and all the damn And North don't forget we had um, anti-large units. And he was on a cold one. They're not good fighters. I think, I think we might have actually ended up winning. If it was just... If he had truly run out of magic, then that was it. Because that was what was doing all the damage to us. Sally out, let him use the thing five times, then retreat. No, that'll be a defeat, dude. The funny thing is, as well, draws don't even count in this. They don't even count. Awful cheese, it is unbearable. <laughs> it's, hey, some people play with 20 minute timers on all the time. I was actually fairly confident that we could have actually won, won that. Because he was really low on health. Really, really low. Because don't forget, we didn't need to completely kill him. Yeah, the Spearman did hold out for a while. And if he cast it again and miscast it one more time, uh, he, was, he was done for. <laughs> Does it even mention draws? Look, total battles fought three two one. Total total victories three two one. It just doesn't even register it as a battle fought, as far as the game is concerned. Don't forget, there's a lot of situations where putting on a 20 minute timer would not save you. So, just having a look at it, it's still under siege. I think the only way we can justify having put on the timer is if we sally out and finish him in that fight. That's what we got here. None of our units got wiped out. He has a lot of magic. If we were to sally out, just, just out of curiosity, let me have a look. It says decisive defeat. What's the map look like?
Because, yeah, what I could do here... What I could do here... Is just bring this guy around. Which is what I should have done last time. I just forgot to move this army, right? Because it was standing there and then... He moved over to here and I just could have sniped it, but I'm, I'm really freaking tired. Um, see, we were upgrading it. The legend, you should have built walls. I was fucking upgrading it. <laughs> Do it. I'm really tired, guys. I'm really tired. We should probably leave it till t uh, next time. Maybe we can have that be the final one of the day. No. Alright, this will be the final one of the day. Alright, here's, here's where we go. I could send... The only way I can justify myself for putting on the timer... Don't forget, we turned the timer off this time. Um, this time, this time you lose. Oh, it just fucking crashed. <laughs> Why did it crash? Uh... Hang on, let me, let me get back into it. It shouldn't be a bugged map. I think it was just a coincidence. Why not just bring the army from Arnheim? I sh if I want to win the battle, that then that's what I'm going to do. Well, that's what I could do. But I think we can win it. That way. I think we can win it with um, with him essentially killing himself. The AI will do that. They will um, keep using Power of Darkness on themselves constantly. But what I need to get him to do is actually cast spells. Because he'll just go crazy on casting. So you send the weakest unit over to just get obliterated by spells. He'll pop down chill winds and, and whatever. And then just um, constantly cast... Um, Power of Darkness on himself and he'll die. No, I don't want this game. Fucking crap. I d this doesn't look like it's a bugged map. Yeah, it's not It's not crashing this time. It, it was just a coincidence. Does the order save in the end or in the beginning of the turn? On Legendary, both. Okay, so, this one here, then this one, then this one. So, hide. Yeah, hide these two over here. No timer this time. You're up first. Look at him cast like crazy. You come up over here. Don't want him to give away the position up this way. Don't, don't send him over this way. That's not good. Okay, this one just got discovered. He's moving over this way. That'll probably rally. So, so far we haven't done much damage to him, but he hasn't, um, he hasn't used Power of Darkness yet. Swords on first, because they're less useful. Um... It's just about the number of units, because casting spells on 
uh, low number of units isn't particularly effective. Just miscasted. Come on, use power. He hasn't used power of darkness yet. Must still feel like he's got a decent amount of magic. I think that unit will still rally again. Just go back over this way. Be fine. Swordsmen have a way higher melee attack, even if they don't have bonus versus large. He did it. He just used uh, power of darkness on himself. Is he unbreakable? No. No, he is not unbreakable. How much does Doom Bolt cost? Nine. Okay. I don't think he's overcasted that. Come on, man. Where's your power of darkness? If that gets enough distance, it'll rally. He's too low. He won't use it. Yeah, he will. I've seen them use um, Forbidden Rod to kill themselves. He's already used it once. Still rally. Yep, it did. For oh, he just miscast it again. Didn't do much damage to him, but he did do it. cooldown on it. Uh, the cooldown is only 14 seconds, so he can technically keep doing it. Is he tired? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. That one will run off the battlefield this time. Oh, it might rally. It might. Is it going to rally? No. Alright, now Mal Malika's coming up here. we still got two really healthy units. Oh, he did it! He did it! Look, he did it. Victory's in our grasp. He's doing it! He's doing it! Oh yeah, catch up! We got him. We got him. And there's no way I can catch him. It was the battle of two battles. That was definitely the closest we came to taking a defeat in this campaign. Oh god. Yeah. Malekith was very dumb. It was very dumb there. Weakling. 
Very, very dumb. And the thing is now... Now it's just trying to land over here. Um, it would be better to wipe out this force here, and what we do... They won't replace him with anyone. Uh, we put a Huntsman here. Huntsman General. Huntsman General. This dude will... It, when Malekith comes back here, you know, he'll die. He can't get to Sildratur. Um, but that'll finish him off. And then this one over here. Uh, the Rad One Skull became a member for 26 months. Hope you learnt something. Always have a stout line of spearmen. Well, it was Garrison, but thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Guided by Sigma. Uh, do you have any control over chat filtering? So many messages get held back, it's annoying. I don't have much control over it. it I basically have a tick box that says, filter inappropriate messages. Unfortunately, like, mild words are, are filtered. Um, you know, the, the word fuck will get filtered at the same rate as the, the N-word. I can't do anything about that, um, unfortunately. Um, Synonym B did a 10 euro super chat. Awesome. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Just, Kyle, don't worry too much about, um, like, approving that stuff. If you want to, like, take a, take a, like, a chill during, um, during streams, there's too many things being held back. Just, just let them, just let them stay hit, hidden. It's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, we'll call that a day. But yeah, the campaign continues. I really thought I was fucked there. But it was a miracle that he bloody used Power of Darkness on himself like that. <laughs> Should be a heroic victory. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Just got here. Do defeats in garrison battles count as Velp? Yep. Yep, that's they do. So yeah, if we had lost that battle... So where is it? Um, minus settlement battle defeats. Yeah. kind of curious if I actually could have won that outright the without uh, the timer before, because he was so low on health. Um, and he was, like, run out of magic. Don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and we'll call that a day. I'm absolutely exhausted. Yeah, letting that one slip after I was, like, checking everything, that was completely avoidable. Um... Let's see who's live streaming. I need to get some rest. So I don't know if I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow because Thursdays have proven to be a little bit iffy. Um, but if if I'm not live streaming tomorrow, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Um, and we'll continue this on Sunday if that's the case. All right, just having a look to see who's streaming. Just give me a second. All right, we'll chuck the host over to Dame Offensive. She's doing Thoric Love and Thunderdome campaign. So playing a Thoric Ironbrow. I'm gonna go get some rest. Appreciate you guys. Here's a link to Dame Offensive in the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some sleep. Um, really enjoying the campaign. We're not done yet, and I will.